Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. And welcome on back to a little randomized perfection in Stardew Valley. What is this? This is stream number 50? Holy, how did, how did we get here so fast? <laughs> 50 streams of this, and who knows how many more. I mean, we're only how many goals in at this point? L little over 40? Less than one goal per stream. I mean, that's, you know, <laughs> based based on how things have gone, that's kind of understandable, actually. But here we are. How's everybody doing? Just got a wisdom tooth removed, and I need someone to keep me awake. Evie, I will do my best. <laughs> I hope you recover well. I have, I've never had my wisdom teeth out, which is probably bad, but I've known people to have them out, and they're, it's uh, it's an experience for sure. I wish you the best. You'll be lurking. No worries, Miss Palindrome. Good to see you. Hey there, Dragonic Moon. Hey there, Megan. Nursing a headache? Fair enough. Yeah, no worries. Finally get to catch a live. Brittany Hallowell. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Glad you're able to get, catch a live one today. Ipriske, nice to see you as well. Hello, Dark Mimi. only afford one wisdom tooth but it got infected so it had to go yeah they get they do get pretty expensive like I, I think i don't know i've never had issues with my wisdom teeth maybe it's still yet to pass but i'm just not gonna think about it <laughs> either way i digress blaine you just got your new goal catch the legend godspeed my friend godspeed and thank you to megan for initiating Nightbot so I can pin this message. Current goal is still craft the solar panel. You may be wondering if you were here last stream, did I in fact leave Stardew Valley open all night since since the end of the previous stream just to preserve all the ginger we had laid bare across Ginger Island? Why well, yes, yes I did. It was kind of nice too because I had like the ambient sound of like a uh, of fire crackling from Stardew Valley because I think there I think we have our golden brazier that's crackling nearby. So that was just like there was just like a constant ambient fireplace noise in the background, which is which is really cool. <laughs> it was kind of nice. Maybe maybe I'll leave Stardew Valley open like all the time for fireplace sounds. I guess you can just get that on on YouTube anyway, or something like that. So maybe I don't need to leave Stardew open all that time, but it was uh, it was surprisingly soothing. Durameister, welcome on in. Well, before we get back into the randomizer, what do you guys say we get through a little bit of Puff Fertile today? We're, we're doing all right with Puff Fertile. We've missed a couple in the past. I think li literally two. But uh, for the most part, I feel like I'm getting into my groove with Puff Fertile. I'm starting to learn are starting to relearn and re-remember all the different fishes, the fishy patterns. Awfon, thank you for being a member for 17 months at the Neutron level, by the way. That is an insane amount of support. Thank you. 17 months already. Thanks, as always, for the streams. Thank you for watching and for supporting and for being so generous and amazing. Community always blowing me away. Thank you, thank you. But I digress. Let's get some Pufferl action going, shall we? Boom. Welcome to the daily. Daily puffer. We'll just hit me with it. What do we got? This is potentially a bullhead. That's the bullhead zone right there. It went a little higher than I would expect a bullhead to go, but not all bullheads are created equal. That said, we are going to start with the bullhead. Okay. A lot of yellow. I'm noticing a lot of yellow. So yellow weather is always interesting that means that because the bullhead is all weather so this is either a rainy like a rain only or a sun only fish which narrows the pool of fish pretty substantially bullhead is in the mountain lake is it in the rivers as well or maybe in like a in the pond in the in the forest i don't know for sure the only place I know for a fact that it is, is the mountain lake. Is there a rainy fish only available in the mountain lake? There is, there is the legend. <laughs> I don't think that was the legend though. Um, color me crazy. All right, what rain, rainy freshwater fish? You got the catfish, that was not a catfish. You got, what else you got as far as like just rain, 
Rainy day freshwater fish. The shad. The shad is a rainy day fish. Is the the walleye is rainy day, right? The walleye is rainy, but it's like evening. Let's start shad here. Not a shad, okay. There is some overlap. What about the walleye? I feel like the walleye is also a rainy day fish. Yeah, okay, there it is. Perfect. It, I don't beyond that it would have been like, I don't know, cat catfish is the only other rainy day fish. It could have been a sunny fish, I suppose, so that's not uh I didn't even consider that really, but we didn't have to consider it. Heck yeah, dude. Argon isn't looking at chat, so I'm going to say a bad word. Frick. Arabella. <laughs> you're you're walking a thin line with that one. I don't know about that. That's a little... Te teachers out say frick. <laughs> I'm watching you. I got my eye on you. You kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> All right. Let me... Dip out a puff fertile for now. I'll be back. Don't you worry about it. And now let's uh, let's pop open Stardew. Shouldn't even take as long because Stardew is already open. Let's in let's enjoy some Stardew together, shall we? We are on the precipice of a new year, which I don't think will change anything as far as like the ginger still being on the ground on Ginger Island. But you never know. I mean, it hasn't it hasn't gone away between weeks, between seasons between, um, like, leaving the island and coming back. So I feel like that ginger is here to stay, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Ooh, I forgot that uh, Beatrix, Beatrix's new drip was so clean. Hold up a minute. I've fallen asleep every time I've tuned into the stream lately. Let's see if I can keep the streak going or manage to stay awake. Hey, you know what? If I can, if I can lull you into a soothing sleep... With, my sh with the streams, then honestly... I mean, that's assuming you need to sleep, I suppose. That's an assumption that I'm making, is that you actually need the sleep, which you may not. You may be like, gosh darn it, I fell asleep again! What the heck, man? I don't know. Whatever your goal is, I hope you ach achieve it. Lurking today? Get some sevens for the lurkers. Anyone, anyone lurking today? We got some early lurker love action. If you're lurking, doing something else while listening to slash watching the stream, let me know what you're doing and uh, and put a 7 in chat for yourself. 07 from Abby L. 3.5 from Clawtooth. No, there's no hardly any 7s. People are lurking so hard. Master Magikarp. Okay, now the 7s are rolling in. This, that's just a stream delay. I didn't expect the stream delay to be that long, though. Baking a Cake. Afraid of Space. Vampire Gecko. Abby is playing Apico. I've, I've seen that played. I think I saw Charlie play that. Seems like a fun little game. Zach fight, cleaning. Best of luck. Scoria, seven, eating. Anya, working. Lid is cleaning. Atsuhiko with the seven, thank you. Rebeska page, watching kids. Switch glitch with chores. Dragonic moon, 3.5, knitting. Charlo J, hello, hello. S working from home. Quote, unquote, working. I feel that. You're going to be cooking soon, wrapping up work. Right on. Appreciate all the lurkers. You are the lifeblood and back backbone of the stream. Thank you very much for being here. You keep doing you. In the meantime, I'm going to keep doing me, which entails... Um, we're not, we don't have anything we're actually specifically doing right now. Are we catch 20 lake fish? Yeah, about that, Demetrius. Um, No. <laughs> As politely as I could possibly say this, that sounds bad and horrible, and I don't want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to sleep instead. How do we feel about that? Part of me does want to go over to Ginger Island just to verify with my own two eyes that the um, ginger is still kicking around. Maybe we should, because I'm a little... Ooh, there's two wines ready here. That's unexpected. I'm a little... I don't know. I mean, I know for a fact I left the game open. It didn't crash. Windows didn't update. I didn't accidentally close it like a... Like a like a fool. 
I feel like it's all still going to be there, but you know, there's always that nagging feeling of what if, what if when the clock ticks over to midnight, the game was able to to recognize that, and then it was like, oh, there's all this ginger here. You don't need that. Let's let's clean that up for you. So I'm going to take some time to clear out these seeds, and once uh once we have access to Ginger Island, I'll I'll pop on over just to verify for myself. Sounds bad, so I'm gonna sleep instead mood. That's a heck of a mood. Is there a way to tell what's gonna be on the special orders board? Uh, the predictor probably has ways of telling that. Like, I'm sure that's something that could be predicted. But without, uh, without that external sort of knowledge, I don't believe there's any, any reasonable way to do so, no. Part of me did consider that, like, what if... I don't, I don't think this would work. Let me preface it with that. But if we got the island ingredients quest, could we reset the day? Like, if we got the island ingredients, but Caroline was like, oh, I want you to ship 100 pineapples. Could we reset the day to try and finesse that to becoming 100 ginger instead? I know that obviously resetting the day would entail losing all the ginger that's on the ground already, so that's not ideal. But is it possible? Was, is my question, and I wasn't able to test it because obviously I was leaving the game open. So it was just it was just a little theory that I crafted in my brain. Worth a try. Yeah, we can't we can't with the ginger, unfortunately. So I'm not able to test it. If if it did work, if I had confirmation that it did work, then I would probably sacrifice all. Well, it, would, it would depend on when I got it, I guess. If I got it and there were only like seven days left to actually complete the quest, they probably wouldn't be worth a reset. But if I did it when there were like 28 days to complete the quest, then maybe we could just try our luck by by resetting and then hoping we could get the 100 ginger we need. Like I said though, at the very beginning, I don't think that's actually even possible. I assume that the quest is is determined and unchanging. Immutable, if you will. If you would let me use a $10 word every now and again. Immutable is a good one. Then uh, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's happening. All right, that's a decent amount of seeds. I'm sure there's still more, but let's go over to Ginger Island just to verify. First stream you've caught live since we were catching Ollie. Holy moly, Abby Ann, welcome on back. I, I remember your name. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you back for for one. If it's in the predictor, it's unchangeable. Well, here's the thing. I think the predictor could probably tell you it's the island ingredients quest. I don't know if the predictor could tell you whether it's taro, pineapple, or ginger that she's asking for. But I'm like I said, I'm working with very cursory knowledge when it comes to that sort of stuff. So I very seldom use the predictor even in my own uh even in my off time. Unless I'm like experimenting with something and I want to like test test with some things, then I'll maybe employ its services, but even then, most of the time, not. Most of the time, the things I'm testing, I don't really need the predictor's help with. Bears? We don't need to worry about the bears. I'm not going to get close enough to pick up any ginger. I just want to see it from a distance. It's still there. At least that portion of it is. <laughs> don't worry. We don't need any bears right now. Just checking to verify... That it is indeed still on the ground, and now we are going back home. Rift to my playtime on this file, by the way, on this farm. Just got cranked up, like, artificially by, I don't know, like, 18 hours or something like that. I don't know what it's at right now. I didn't actually change it with... I couldn't check it because I couldn't even go to, like, the file select screen to check what my playtime's at now. But it's, it's all going to be worth it in the end. It's all going to be worth it when next week Caroline indulges us and finally grants us the quest that we need. Like button looking real cute right about now. Makes you makes you want to just press it a little bit, doesn't it? Just give that a little like button, a, a wee little click. I'm with you. Put this in here. Do you have enough bones now, bone fragments rather, to craft a second bone mill, if that was in our interest? But 
We're not super interested in that right now, I don't think. Okay. Um, I might as well... Well, let's go Let's go to Sandy first, because we have been buying shirts from Sandy to expand Beatrix's wardrobe recently. So if we have the opportunity to visit Sandy, we might as well. Wish her a happy Winter Star, because she's not going to be at the festival tomorrow. Neither am I, to be fair, but... <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cute. Little, like, pink overalls with the pink shirt. There's something to that. There's something to that. I like that shirt. I enjoy the colors. I, I enjoy my pinks and my purples, so it speaks to me on a spiritual level. I like that. Exclamation point, left click the like button. Why not make the obelisk home? Is it a predictor goal? I don't think it actually is a predictor goal. The like uh, the farm obelisk on Ginger Island, that is not a predictor goal. So there's no reason I couldn't do it if I just amassed enough walnuts to do so. But that's a that's a side quest that I'm not willing to embark on just yet. Shoulder pads. <laughs> it does have some. Look at those shoulder pads. It's like one pixel high shoulder pads. Holy. All right. Um, let's finish, uh, well, I guess I'll wait till the end of the season to go back out again and chop down all the seeds. Because it's gonna be, like, there's more gonna spread in the next few days. These seeds spread like wildfire in the winter. So I'm gonna have to spend some time tomorrow managing that. Happy Winter Star, everybody. Sorry to my secret friend, Clint. You're, uh, I guess you're just getting cold this year. Although he'd probably be pretty happy with coal. He'd be like, heck yeah, I don't have to spend any... I can I can save some of my coal budget now. <laughs> what a legend. Ooh, look at this wild plum. That's, that's my Christmas present to Beatrix right now, this wild plum. It's actually pretty good. I don't think we have any other means of getting wild plums right now, so... Happy to have it. The plum is a sugar plum. All right, that's full right now. I guess I'll put it in here with the other forge. Starting to run low on chest space, but I'm pretty sure, don't I still have, like, I still have multiple chests in here so we can expand if we need to. Expand and reorganize. We might be approaching that, uh, we might be approaching that reality sooner rather than later. Just looked at the map predictor, and it does tell you which version of the quest will be available. Okay, thank you for looking into that. Chaotica, that's uh, that's helpful because now we know that it's probably not resettable because like things that are predictable like that aren't shouldn't be resettable because they're determined like by the game seed, which is written in stone more or less. Thank you, appreciate that. Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy is such a fun song. Is that the one that goes? Dun, dun, dun. Wait, how does it go? I don't know if it has lyrics or like anything like that. I don't think I've ever heard it with lyrics. That's a classic. Is that really called Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies? That's kind of what that's what I always want to call it, but then it strikes me as one of those songs that's like, you know, that's uh that's what the song could be called, but then it's called something like, I don't know. Christmas Fugue number two. It's a ballet piece. From Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. I'm here for that. There's like that one, like what's the one song? It's like Hall of the Mountain King. It never, sa I don't even remember what it sounds like now. It's like a song that everybody knows, but I don't know. It's like, the fact that it's called Hall of the Mountain King it doesn't sound like a song that would play in the Hall of the Mountain King to me. I'm trying to remember how it even goes now. <laughs> in the in the Hall of the Mountain King, not even close. Nice. All right. Anytime I think of that song, I also inevitably think of a YouTube video I saw one time that was called In the Hall of the Mountain King, where it's like the same, it's the song, but it's, uh, as vocalized by a cat. <laughs> like, all the notes are just cats meowing, which is really good. 
It's slowly climbing. I'm try. I'm just trying to think. I, I maybe I'll need to listen to it at some point. I'm not. I'm not that invested in it right now. Joining my dog in the napping game. Enjoy your nap. Florally chaotic. Enjoy. Got some soothing music for you to nap to as well. Gosh, I love this song. This one never gets old. If I ever become a villain, this will be my background music. This song? <laughs> or in the Hall of the Mountain King. Either either way, it's acceptable. I don't know if this is a particularly villainous song. That would be that would be a strange dichotomy, to be sure. A strange juxtaposition, if you will. Really want to share with you guys that I taught my first first lesson plan today to a class of first graders, six years old, and it went really well. They loved it, and their teacher said I did a good job. Yo, Michelle! Can you get some love and chat for Michelle? That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that for you. That's a that's a big day. Congratulations, that's awesome. I know there's always a lot of nerves going into something new like that, especially like when it involves involves lots of kids and you have no idea how it's gonna go and Congratulations. No, that's huge. I'm very happy to hear that for you. Alright. Are we all set for the spring to come? We got the ancient seeds already here. I'm gonna have to go out and chop a bunch of seeds, I'm sure. A bunch of tree seeds. Yo, Shane! I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Mood. Don't tell anyone I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. See you soon. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If he keeps sending me pepper poppers. I think that's that's the first time he's ever sent me anything in the mail, right? And pepper poppers are probably the best thing we could get from him. That's a, a, a farming buff and a speed buff. It's a versatile buffing food. My favorite kind of food. This is Terraria. I, I regret to inform you, this is not Terraria. I don't know if they have pepper poppers in Terraria. It wouldn't surprise me. I feel like they have everything in Terraria. <laughs> like, I feel like if you just made up... I feel like there's so much in Terraria right now. I know next to nothing about it. Let me preface it by saying that. Um, but, like, I feel like it's one of those games that has so many things in there. Like, I could just make something up. Like, oh, have you guys heard about the Dougal Snorf? And you'd be like, oh, is th are you talking about the enemy from Terraria? And I'd be like, no, I just made that I just made that up on the spot. What are you talking about? And you'd be like, no, the Dougal Snorf, it's a, it's a rare enemy. It has a 0.3% chance of showing up in the desert biome. And if you kill it, you get uh, five crystal wing fragments. And I'd be like, sure, go, go off. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure Terraria is a great game, but there's like so much in it and it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> It's a little dawn thing from time to time. Is is this is not Terraria a meme? That, that's a meme that has passed me by. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss character. The muchness keeps me from playing it. That's a good way to phrase it. The muchness. I just get like... Especially because it's like so open-ended, right? Like there's not like a a set progression that you follow, or even like, even like guidelines a lot. Maybe there is like a guiding sort of hand if you want it, but from what I've been able to tell, there really isn't. It's re it really is pretty much an entire open world sandbox game, which is a large part of the appeal, obviously. But for people who haven't been in since like the ground floor, it is a little... A little daunting to look at, like, videos that say, like, I made a fully functioning 32-bit computer in Terraria. And you're like, oh, this is, it's one of those kind of games, huh? Minecraft has the same problem, to be fair, but I've been interested in Minecraft for for a long period of its lifespan. Which is why I have less of a an aversion to, like, learning about it. Even then, though, like, I don't play Minecraft often enough, and a lot of the new updates have flown over my head. I'm like, what the heck? There's honey blocks now? Copper? What do you even use the copper for? Oh, nothing? Okay, great.
On my preview, hold on, let me let me double check something here. I have zero dropped frames. On the preview, it's showing me on my like YouTube streaming thing. My my game looks like it's like stuttering sometimes. Are you guys seeing that, or is that just me? It might be. It might be because this YouTube preview is like a little scuffed on my end at the best of times. But hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not stuttering. Hopefully it's smooth sailing for for everybody. I just want to make sure though. Change your name. Tried ter Terraria. It was too too scary for you. No stuttering here. Everything fine. No. St would be nice. Would be nice to reach 50 goals at the end of the 50th stream. I don't know if we're gonna make it quite there. It depends on how how fast we can get this solar panel quest out of the way, and then what goals come after that. But you know, optimism. You know what? That's this. It's a call for optimism for sure. All right. I think that's pretty much all the seeds taken care of. A good portion of them, anyway. The whims of Caroline. Sounds like a... Sounds like a, a short children's fable. From, like, the 1840s. Alright, I think we're good. I think we are officially good to go. Or at least as good as I'm, as I'm gonna be. Because tomorrow is a Monday. I'm not gonna put it off any longer than I have to. Not only is tomorrow Monday, but it's the first Monday of a new year. I'm excited for it. Let's go ahead and ship our jelly, which we are allowed to ship, just in case there were any... anyone, like, worried about that, that I was accidentally shipping something I should not be. We, we can always remember it because it's so gooey. Go buy our requisite shirt from Sandy, last one of the year. What do we got? Ooh, that's kind of cute. It's kind of like a. Is this it, this is like a polo shirt? I'm I'm here for this, like a little polo golf shirt or something. Alyssa, welcome on in. Good to see you. Life is Roblox. It can be if you want it to be. You could probably live in Roblox. That's one of your favorite shirts. It's really cute. I actually really like it. Blue is not always like one of my favorite colors. It's kind of like a blah color a lot of the time to me, just because it's kind of it's. You see blue all over the place, but like certain shades of blue, you can do it right. And blue and white is a great combination. Yet another wearable shirt. Me out here looking for non-wearable shirts. Sandy, you got anything in stock? Oh, I have this lovely little blue polo. Is it wearable? Um, yes. Not again. Wah 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 wah. Alright. Well, get your party poppers out, everybody. Party poppers, fireworks, emojis, whatever you want. As we celebrate yet another new year. Going into year 16, I believe it is. I'm going to have to get Nightbot, Nightbot primed and ready. Let's get it done, shall we? Go to sleep for the night. I think we're pretty much good to go here. And we got nothing ready to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, holy, two, one, and a half, and three quarters. Happy New Year, everybody. Day one of spring, year 16. And we start this year off on the best possible foot and just get the quest right away today. That would be so huge. Caroline, please give the people what they want. But before that, let me pop over to Nightbot. I bought, hey, current in-game year 15. You're working on outdated information there, buddy. 16. 4 squared. How have we gone past 4 square numbers of years? That's a weird way to think of it, but here we are. Alright. New year, new quests. Let's go, let's go just see. We're gonna have to plant ancient, ancient fruit and stuff today. We'll get that crop going. Honestly, we probably don't even really need to plant ancient fruit anymore, <laughs> like, just given our, our money situation. I think we're pretty well set for the rest of the challenge, but at this point, it's it's just a habit. Old habits die hard. I might as well be using the, the Junimo fields for something. Are there any other things we could plant on... Oh, that's bad. Are there any other things we could plant on... Or in spring? I mean, we've got the ancient fruit. Who knows? Maybe we can do something else with the... Uh, 
with the Junimo Huts in like future years. I want to use the Ancient Seeds because I, I already have them. But in future years, I would not be opposed to doing other things with the with that big plot of land. All right. Get the animals fed. That's important. I know I'm just leading you along. Have a good one there, Brush. Thanks for hanging out. It's also 2 to the power of 4. 4 to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 4. This proves that x to the power of y always equals y to the power of x. Prove me wrong. You can't. You can't because it's in. it's an infallible fact. Alright. But math questions aside. Here we are. At the precipice of a new year. New year full of new quests. Please. Please, Caroline. Please end this. End this. Just put an end to it. Alright, well. A lotion made from garlic is said to remove wrinkles. Somebody is selling snake oil out there. Anyone who ships 100 bulbs of garlic by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from the Pelican Town Agricultural, Agricultural Fund, also known as PATAF. I mean, I'll take it because it's 28 days, so we won't uh, we won't get a du uh, duplicate one of them. So that's uh, that's pretty nice, but we're not able to ship garlic, so rip. Can't argue with infallible facts. That is, it's right in the name, twice. They're infallible and they're facts. Wasn't this the same as last week's? I don't think so, no. It, could, it couldn't have been, because the I don't think you get crop order in winter, because you can't usually go grow crops in winter. I mean, obviously the greenhouse is there, but there's no guarantee you have the greenhouse and the special orders board at the same time, so... Alright. Well, without further ado, let's go get our... Um... Ancient Seeds. The only other thing I can think that I want to grow this year would be some pineapple and some taro. Taro tubers. Plant these in warm weather. So I would have to, yeah, but I would have to wait for the summer for those anyway, for pineapples and taro. That way I just have them ready for for other goals in the future, like for certain cooking goals, like poi and uh and tropical curry, I think. But also for shipping. All about that future proofing lifestyle. You can argue with infallible facts because you can argue incorrectly. I mean, you know what? I can't argue with that because I I, I refuse to argue incorrectly, and that's just a correct statement. <laughs> you always get the crop order according to the season. And I, I assume you can't get it in winter because, I mean, there are no crops that are exclusive to winter, other than, like, winter seeds, which aren't really a crop, per se, in so many words, so forth, and such as. Ooh, a train is passing through Stardew Valley. I've already got my two pairs of leprechaun shoes. I've already hit the train lottery. There's no reason to go back. All right, we're going to plant 138 seeds, so we should have, um, should have seven seeds left when everything is said and done here. I'll have to come back and water some of these, obviously, but... I just want to make sure that I don't miss any spots. I'm looking for seven seeds remaining. Leave some spots for other crops. I mean, any other crops that I want to grow are not going to be until summer. So I can at least get, like, one extra harvest out of some of these spots for ancient fruit. Because I don't think I'm planting anything in spring. You know what would maybe be nice is, in like, what if in the future, because we are not really in the business of growing crops these days anymore. Like, even the ancient fruit we're just doing because we have the momentum to keep growing ancient fruit. But like, what if next year, instead, we, like, tell the Junimos, hey, you get this year off, and we'll plant... We'll, like, we'll make sure make it so the Junimos, um... Did I miss one spot? Because I think I was supposed to have seven, right? Was I supposed to have seven or eight spot? Eight. I don't remember anymore. I think I'm missing a spot. We could, like, turn off the harvesting and then just fill this with flowers or something. 
one unwatered spot. We got a few unwatered spots, actually. I feel like I'm missing a spot under the sprinkler. Under the sprinkler. Under the sprinkler, thank you. Thank you, Arabella. Thank you, Evie. Appreciate it. There we go. Perfect. Let's go grab the watering can. Fix up that uh, that field as best we can. Hey, all. Hope Hopefully you didn't go hungry for too long. I don't know how long the silos were empty there, but uh, they, seem, they seem like they're doing all right out here. They're managing, you know. Just off this one little tuft of grass right here. Look at that. Ooh, we got supply crates as well. Hold up. I just gotta be careful. I don't want to accidentally pet that cow with my scythe. Ooh, hello fresh. Pet one and find out. <laughs> you can't fool me. Not so easily, anyway. Someday we will pet them all. What is this chicken doing here? You alright, buddy? I feel like she's... I don't know. This, the sad music does not help this chicken situation. I'm crafting a whole head cannon for you. No, this chicken has been shunned. Why are you, why are you so far away from everybody else? What's going on? Okay. If, if I was going to pet, any, pet anybody, it would be you. Now I don't even know your name because I'm not allowed to pet you yet. Trying to tempt me to pet? You think she's a... She's an, a spy sent by the other chickens? Trying to, trying to weave her way into my heart. You might be right. Why so sad? Hiding so you can pet her. I'll just be walking around minding my own business and then like chopping some seeds out of the ground as I often do, and then all of a sudden, oops, my hand reached out and ruffled the feathers of this chicken. All by mistake. I can't believe it. All right, a uh, watering can before we got distracted by by the saddest chicken of all time. It's quite a bit of sugar. Ooh, sugar. Can you consume sugar in this game? Like, just, like, raw? I wouldn't recommend doing it in real life, just, like, having a snack of pure, refined sugar. It would taste good for, like, maybe the first like, little dab, and then you'd be regretting it for sure. Petting pie right in front of the chicken is psychological warfare. What the- who is that? Oh, that's Iota. I thought that was a cow that had also snuck its way up here. But it was just Iota. Not just Iota, but you know what I mean. Your granny eats sandwiches of butter and sugar. I've had butter and sugar sandwiches, actually. I think it's something from, like, an older generation. You can eat sugar. Yo, in before I use sugar instead of common mushrooms for my energy source. Alright. Um, I think we're good. We filled up the silos. We planted all the ancient fruit. We've watered everything. We've chopped all the seeds we can. I think we just move on to next Monday. You know what? You know what I am going to do, actually? I don't think we... Well, number one, I don't think we visited Sandy. Number two... Call me paranoid if you want. It is a new year, though. Let's see. Just, you know, verify all of our factors. Let's go to Ginger Island and verify that the ginger is still there, despite the new year. If I can make it there in time. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to Willie's in time, actually. <laughs> I should have brought Iota, because I'm not going to make it in time. You know what? I'm going on faith. I'm going on pure faith. I changed my mind. The ginger is there. I just have to believe hard enough. This is a Peter Pan situation. You can eat sugar, but not mayo. I think, do you think it says something about Concerned Ape? Do you think he's out there working the nights away, slamming back tablespoons of sugar? But if he gets near a jar of mayonnaise, he's like, "Eh, no. Mayonnaise on my sandwich? I don't think so. No, I'm probably just reading too much into it. You look parched. I am. That's why I came here for this mint blouse. A cute light green blouse. Yo, that's got to be like an ultra rare. If this if Sandy is a loot box, that's like an Omega rare. That's like a that's like a purple quality legendary shirt get. 
I love the mint blouse, dude. It's got, like, actual text to it. Not, it's not just a wearable shirt. It's a cute light green shirt. That's hype. Mint blouse hype. Honestly, mint mint blouse kind of kind of fits the spring vibe, doesn't it? It's kind of a spring. Can we? Do you think we have a good bottom to accompany this? Mint blouse is cute. If we have a good like skirt that matches this color, I could honestly be persuaded. Cause I think the hat is is a good match already with the little the little green leaf there. Do we have any good bottoms? What about these like blue shorts? There's like something to that. It's, it's, it looks a little off to me. The brown skirt, pleated skirt. Genie pants, probably not. I think if we dyed some of these skirts, maybe there would be something here. Although honestly, the white skirt. The white skirt, the pink skirt. How do we feel about pink skirt? Do we have another pink skirt? We do have this pink skirt as well, yeah. That was like that one's like a peach skirt. This is a nice these, these are nice spring colors like this. The genie pants. I mean, I'll try the genie pants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. You like all the skirts so far? Beatrix doesn't miss. I'm kind of with you. I kind of think the pink skirt is kind of nice. Honestly, the white pleated is speaking to me as well. What about the shorts? The shorts are a little... I feel like the shorts don't match quite quite right. White is best. I feel like white or pink. Genie pants with the pink crop top. Just th throwing an outfit suggestion out there. You know what? Let's let's give it a try. Where was the pink crop top? Is that this one? I think that's the right one, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Put all this away for right now. Pink crop top. Looks like th these look like pajamas, honestly. You can also make another white skirt and dye it with a white flower, or if you have another white flower, and dye it via the sewing machine with a colored item. Yeah, this is not the crop top. This is kind of cute, though. It's still it's still kind of cute. We we actually have some options now, which is which is nice. We need to decide on Beatrix's spring look here. I feel like the mint blouse is pretty nice. Al although, although I don't actually I don't know if this is. This shirt is not very spring. This shirt's not very spring. I feel like the mint blouse is more spring. Mint plus pink skirt. Mint and pleated pink skirt. Do we have a... a look at this, this skirt is not pink. This is like a peach skirt. It does... It does... You know what? It fits though. It kind of matches the hat pretty nicely. It's It's a similar... It's a similar match there. I think I think I like this. You know what? Let's let's do this. Yeah, we have worn the pink skirt a lot. Let's do one of these pleated skirts. Peach is pink. I would consider peach more orange than pink. Personally, it's it's like a cross between orange and pink. I suppose I you can make you can make the call. I mean, this peach is definitely pink. Different shoes. Do we have good shoes? Is this the time for leprechaun shoes? Do you think? Could this be the outfit? Leprechaun shoes. How do we feel about that? Honestly? Honestly. <laughs> There's something to this. There's something to it. I don't know. Not a fan. Cute. Skirt looks more salmon to you. Not bad, but not great. Zoom, please. I can give you some zoomies. Little zoomies. There you go. That's full zoom. Not a fan. Fair enough. I'm see. I'm seeing. We need to find something conclusive here. Sneakers. Probably not, huh? These <laughs> bright red shoes. I feel like the leather boots might have been. Might might have been the best ones here. What about the slime boots? 
You mean the rubber boots? Rubber boots. That's actually... I feel like I like that better than the... Uh, than the leprechaun shoes. Leprechaun shoes were a little brighter than this. These, this is a bit more muted. Sorry who's lacking shoes. I kind of agree with you. They're all basically the same. <laughs> but it, like they... Like very slight different colors. So good. I think this is the one. I think we've landed. I don't want to just go like... I feel like leather boots is kind of like a cheat code. Because like... They look good with almost everything because brown is such like a, a non-intrusive color. So I feel like we got it. And how often are you going to get to rock rubber boots as part of your outfit, right? I'm here for it. Lock it in. And get me back to my proper zoom level. Beautiful. Does Iota also get a seasonal hat? We can definitely give Iota a seasonal hat. What is a good seasonal hat for Iota? Tropiclip? I mean, Tropiclip is it's more tropical. It's right in the name. Butterfly bow is springy. Own hat. Garbage hat. Pink bow. Pink bow for Iota? Butterfly bow or pink bow? Let's try both of them. Let's just have a look. How you doing there, Iota? Here you go. All right. Butterfly bow. Oops, didn't mean to take it off right away. Rocking the butterfly bow. That's very cute. You can't see it from this side, but that's okay. It is, it's very cute from that side. And then pink bow. Got pink bow here. That's a big old pink bow. Holy. <laughs> I think the butterfly bow is probably my preferred option here. They're both very cute. How are we feeling? Pink bow, it's so cute. Love the butterfly bow. Arabella, thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level, renewing your membership. Thank you so much, I greatly appreciate the support. We did already do it, you're right. I'm here for the butterfly bow. I mean, butterflies, very springtime. I think that's a, that's a good match. Give Iota the jauntier look. All right. New outfit just dropped. Springtime outfit for Beatrix just dropped. Who dis? Lock it in. Beautiful. Starting to finally make advantage of some of our some of our new fit. I'm here for it. Did we check the board today? We did. Yeah, that was like one of the very first things we did. <laughs> we didn't get entirely distracted by the fashion show. Not not for that long. We didn't get to eleven o'clock just trying on. Like, a bunch of different shirts and skirts and shoes and stuff. Although, that would be on brand for me to do something like that. I care so much more about fashion for my in-game characters than I do for, like, myself. Anybody else feel that? Granted, it's a lot easier and less expensive to, like, accessorize and dress up your little in-game avatars than it is to buy buy yourself clothes. <laughs> but still, like even if I had the the extra income to spend on clothes, I probably would not uh, would not endeavor to. Buh. Buh 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 ha ha. Fashion Sense IRL is like two outfits, so you compensate in video games. Literally the same, yeah. I, I, I'm i always wearing just like jeans, and like I swap between like however many different shirts I own, which is not that many, honestly. <laughs> Ooh, wild Plum. Wild Plum acquired in a non-wild environment. What the... Wait, hold on, what? What was that? <laughs> did it, that I, I didn't, did I just dream that? Or did that really happen? I feel like I want to try that again. Next time it's something's fully grown and, and then not pluck the thing. Like I had it, what was, I've never. Okay, next time something's fully grown in that garden pot, I'm doing a little bit of experimentation because that was bizarre. That was very bizarre. 
I blinked. What happened? I planted the fall seed. I had the fall seeds in my hand when I was harvesting the wild plum. And when I clicked to harvest the plum, I planted the seeds, but the plum was still in there. Robert. Hello from Scotland. Hello, hello. What Sugar said? I guess it's because for Forge isn't technically planted. But what would happen if I left it to, like, grow? <laughs> That's my question. That's what I'm wondering now. Stack, 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 stack. We got we, for science. We have to experiment with it. Welcome back, brush. Stacked forage, Iron Man challenge hack. Could you imagine? I mean, honestly, it might not. I mean, it it does involve having garden pots, which is its own barrier to entry, but. It is, it is a thought, that's for sure. Have a good one there, Sugar Prince. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Alright, I guess I don't need my watering can anymore either. Pop that away. Boom. It's not storage, to be fair, so that would be fun. You know what else is fun? Dancing out to Pickle Jar Rag. The ultimate springtime bop. Pickle Jar Rag definitely sounds like one of those songs you would uh, hear in like a like a sock hop or something like that. Like a soda, a soda shop sock hop. Do sock hops still happen? Or is that solely relegated to the 1950s? If not, they should. I'd be down. I would, I would be... I would love to go to a sock hop. Because to my understanding, a sock hop is literally just a dance, but like... In your socks. That's why they call it a sock hop. You're in South Africa. <laughs> South Africa having a little... But having a little... <laughs> a little typo about it. No worries. I got the gist there, brush. That's cool. I feel like we don't get too many people in here from South Africa. That's That's kind of neat. What is a sock hop? You know what? I don't fully know. I think it's just the dance, but like you're wearing socks instead of shoes. But when in doubt, I have my old friend to fall back on. <clears throat> hey Siri. Huh? Define sock hop. Sock hop is an informal term. It means a social dance at which participants dance in their stocking feet. In their stockinged feet. There you go. Anyone else have stockinged feet or just me? That's that such a weird way to phrase that. We did it as kids, but it's much more difficult than it looks. Probably depends on the dances you have to do, I guess. Stomach bag, stockinged feet. You thought it was like where you're racing, hopping in like potato sacks? No, that's called, that's a potato sack race. I'm pretty sure. I think that one's much more a much more literal name. You hop with socks. Holy, that was a, that was a good Hello Fresh crate right there. Thank you, Hello Fresh. I have. I mean, I call those crates the Hello Fresh crates. I have to admit, though, if real life Hello Fresh crates, like if I opened it up for my meal prep for the week and it was literally six bags of sugar, six bags of flour, and two bottles of oil. I would probably be a little bit upset. I'm gonna be like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> no recipe cards, no nothing. Just make pancakes? There's not even any eggs, though. I guess you could make pancakes without eggs, huh? That's a lot of cake you can make. Boom. All right. Nothing doing today, I don't think. So let's just go ahead and end off the day nice and quick. Get to our next Monday here. I gotta get these Mondays coming nice and snappy and fast. It's called Sackhupfen in German, which literally means bag hopping. I hope I didn't totally butcher the pronunciation, but I'm not the best with German words, to be fair.
the umlaut always throws me off. Pancakes absolutely do not need eggs. Goes to show how often I make pancakes, I guess. That was so good. Yo, let's go. You know, a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> My pronunciation is, is spot on twice. Yo, I, we didn't get to see, like, Beatrix and Iota matching in the daylight previously. Now that I'm, like, riding through town, this is an iconic look right now. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is this is something you'd see, like, on the pick cover of, like, a, a children's picture book or something like that. I love it. All right. Mr. Skeleton. Do you think the skeleton... Should we move the skeleton? Do you think it's scaring Caroline away? I think it, she comes with the idea to, like, give the island ingredients quest, but then she sees the skeleton staring her down, and she's like, you know what, maybe next week? I don't know. Let's find out. Biome balance and the strong stuff. Heard there's a spirit made out of potatoes that really packs a wallop, if you know what I mean. Mind dropping a few taters in a keg and bring me a batch or two. There's nothing technically stopping us from doing that, but I don't think we have the time to do it. Right? To, like, get to... Because we only have one keg. Yeah, we can't complete it, unfortunately. I'll take it because it's 14 days, which means it won't repeat next week, at least, but... But it's incompletable for us right now. Yeah, it takes an, an extremely lack... An extremely long time with just one... With just one keg. Ooh. Doesn't hurt to check the uh, the trash every now and again, I guess. Biome balance is haunting you. Biome balance and aquatic overpopulation. They're like the same quest. <laughs> but, be but Demetrius just keeps like, just giving them back to back. Like he like takes up one spot every single week. And which basically like cuts our odds in half because like the other one the other one can be like whatever, but oh my gosh, it's Demetrius. He just needs to stop. My man needs to stop. Do you think do I think Gus leaves those meals in the trash for Linus? If so, I have I just have one thing to say to Linus. That's finders keepers. He had until like 8 a.m. that day to to get that spicy eel. I don't know, maybe like maybe Linus doesn't like spicy food. Demetrius is worried about the fish population. He's environmentally conscious. That's why I can't even get mad at him. I can get frustrated because like he's taking a valuable real estate on the bulletin board. But like, you know, it is for a good cause. So he tells me. I, I trust his word, so. Yo, Sugar Prince, welcome back. Demetrius is like, but how will this affect the trout population? I know, I know you, I know you're really looking to get that solar panel. Do you think if I told Demetrius that we were doing this in the interest of getting solar panels? which is, you know, its own greenness initiative. Maybe he would chill out a little bit. Maybe he would maybe he could even put in a good word with Caroline. I don't know. Maybe if we get Demetrius on our side. Cuz we're we're fighting the same fight Demetrius just from different angles. Your friend has a dog named Diesel. Strangely, it's not the first dog I've heard of named Diesel. Although the one I know of was spelled like the, like the gasoline. Maybe it's a co popular name for dogs. I don't know. Hit him with some bananas. Make him see reason. There's, there's only one way. All right. There is a common mushroom growing in our garden pot right now. Now it's time for some experimentation. Can I can I pull this off again? What the heck? It just unwatered itself. Did you see that? What is going on? This garden pot is freaking me out, dude. It was watered, and it literally became unwatered before my eyes. What, what, what is going on? I'm scared. Is this what happens when you leave Stardew Valley open all day? It gets confused? It's alive? Alright, plant? Yeah, okay. Should I water it? <laughs> I'm gonna water it. 
I'm scared. I'm scared. Send help. Glitched garden pot. I, I, it's been watered. Cool. All right. <laughs> Wait. What's happening? Chat. Am I in a creepypasta right now? I'm so scared. Somebody send help. <laughs> send help. What is this is so bizarre. I've never heard of this or seen this happen. It's it doesn't matter like it, it just takes a second. <laughs> it just takes a second and it becomes unwatered. <laughs> oh no. The mushroom is absorbing all of the water. Phone please. <laughs> I'm going to try. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's actually like considered water right now or not or what the heck is going on. These take what, like a week to grow. So it'll be if, if we can grow it in theory, it'll be grown next Thursday. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to pop out, get my daily screenshot. Boom. Chop down this seed as well. Then we'll come back. Number one, is it still like, is it still glitchy? Is it still, it's still broken. Okay. I'm going to water it and rush into bed as fast as I can to see if it'll stay watered and I can get it watered for tomorrow. Because I'm very intrigued about what the heck is going on here. Alright, water it, run. It's it's not It got unwatered but when I got to bed. Hold on. Water and go. Okay, it is, it is still watered. I think it's going to go unwatered in a second. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it didn't like go unwatered while I was like pausing that menu. I think we just have to hurry. Don't water garden pots in Stardew Valley at 3 a.m. I could move the bed closer, that's true. But my feng shui? Alright, for science, we can mess with the feng shui a little bit. Alright, here we go. Water? Wait, does it change when the time ticks over here? Hold on, we should experiment with that. Is, is it when the time ticks over? Yeah, hold on. If I water it, will it go at, at 9.50? Will it change? Yes, yes. Okay, so it is every 10 minutes it changes. So if I just wait... Num yeah, if I, if I just wait... So I should be able to water it now and go to bed just fine. Is it still watered? It is still watered for 10 minutes, maybe? Or is it perma-watered now? No, it's not perma-watered. Okay, I'm s Chad, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to grow or not. It, it was watered overnight, in theory, by all known laws of Stardew Valley farming. That should grow. It should it should be up a growth stage. This is, this is very curious. Also, the Egg Festival, but, like, who cares about that? We're making history right now. I'm going to get water damage. What is happening? That's what I'm trying. This is pro it's probably a known glitch. Like I'm, it's probably nothing new. Like if I showed this to Blade, he'd probably be like, "Oh yeah, I've done that plenty of times before." That's kind of it's just a fun little party trick. But but to me, this is this is baffling. Only need to wait like three days to see the new forge appear. It should yeah, it should go to its next growth stage in like three days. I think you're right. Lock it in. The haunted garden pot. Just doing. You were just doing experiments on Fun Guy today. It was. It was a prophecy, Rasa. It was a prophecy. The prophecy is coming true now. We're. We're. Do, I don't know what kind of experiments we're doing here. Welcome on in, Jerry. We are still on the solar panel, but we're also trying to figure out. The mystery of the haunted garden pot right now. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for 6.30. Wait for 6.30. Wait for it, then water, then go to bed. Rush to bed as fast as humanly possible. 1.6 sneak peek. It's growing! Chad, it's growing! We're making we're making Frankenstein forage. Look at it. It's growing. It's working. It's alive! <laughs> it's alive! Look at that. It's like a it's like a mushroom wearing a grass skirt. Franken forge. This is so cool. Do I know Habu? I've spoken to him in the past. Yeah, we're not like uh 
We're not buddy buddy, but I do know him, yeah. Um I'm just so stunlocked by this. How did I do that? I literally just when when the mushroom was grown. When the mush first mushroom was grown, I just walked over with fall seeds and I put the fall seeds in while the mushroom was still there and it just worked. There are two plants and there's a fully grown common mushroom and then whatever the second thing growing is going to grow into, which I don't know yet, but we're going to find out. All right, wait for 720. All right, water it and run. All right, we got there in time. That's good. Let's not let's not let this little side adventure distract us too much though. It is Monday, so let's not forget about that. Let's go and see What's on the special bulletin board for us today? New Iron Man challenge cheese just dropped. Once the second thing is grown, will I plant another seed without picking it? I'll probably try. I don't know if it, it I don't know if it'll be a double mushroom or if it'll be I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see if we can like how much we can actually stack there. That is that is unique for sure. Gifts for George. George thinks no one in town cares about him. I'd like to prove him wrong. A dozen leaks should do the trick. They're his favorite. In theory... Do, wait, do I have to collect the... I have to gather 12 leaks. Okay, that's not doable. But I'll take it because it's 14 days long. If I just had 12 leaks in the chest, then I, I thought I could maybe do that. But no, you have to gather them the week of... Forge from every season in the same pot. I like where your head's at. If only I had 12 garden pots, true. Eventually we'll be allowed to craft more garden pots. I could do it with the glitched garden pot. In theory, I could. Yeah, if you could stack 12 leeks on one garden pot, you could... Uh, it depends on if you're able to harvest multiple at the same time. Like, I, I, this is this is new territory right now. And I'm scared. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for 750. No, wait, what? I didn't mean to pick it. Chad, I didn't mean to. Wait, no, I, I thought I was standing far enough away. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's not it's not the end of the world. We can we can try it again with the next thing here. Rip. <laughs> Reset. I would, but there's so much ginger waiting for us on the uh, on the island. I can't reset. No resets allowed for right now. Reset is not an option. Otherwise, I would have left this game open all like all night long for nothing. At least I don't have to worry about like watering it every single day now. Is that how gingers work? I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, what I've, I'm leaving the ginger on the ground and hoping that it works this way once the quest rolls around. But there's a chance it won't. Like this, I'm working off of unproven principles that the ginger on the floor will count for this quest. I feel like it should, but I don't have actual evidence to back that up. Also, holy moly, these trees are spreading like crazy. Is it just me, or do these trees seem to be spreading faster and faster every year? They're, they're getting more abundant. Don't floor items that aren't player caused get cleared occasionally? That's what I was thinking as well, but like we checked back in on Ginger Island and it's still there like it's it's been it's been sticking around through thick and thin I don't know if it'll just randomly disappear at some point or or what but for right now there it's still there I don't know if it counts as being like caused by me already because I hoed it up you thought you only had to ship them now you have, you have to gather all the ginger as well in the time frame it's one of those quests Do I play Forager? I have not played Forager, no. I've seen the game around. It seems like a fun little time. 
I think it was, wasn't that mentioned in, it was mentioned in Salamence's recent video where he went over a bunch of, like, top, like, top 10 cozy games of the last decade. Good video, you should definitely check it out. And I think he talked about Forger a little bit. Seems like a fun time. Saw it in a Floydson vid. I think, yeah, Floydson also did, like, 100 days of Forger or something like that. I don't really know, like, is it, like, just a, a, is it, like, a farming sim game, or is it, there's probably more to it than that, like, based on what, it reminds me of, like, like, the art style reminds me of, of the YouTuber, the odd one is out. <laughs> I don't know if there's any correlation there, but there's, like, a character in that game that looks, like, the exact same as that dude's, like, avatar. Could Futon Bear and dig up some more? We could, and we could dig up extra if we... If we need to that way, but this is a lot of of trees. Holy moly! <laughs> Can't see what's even going on over here. Okay. More like a grindy, looty game. I think Sal did describe it a little bit as an idle game in his uh, in his video. Where, like it has more of like an idle game loops, like like cookie clicker style almost, but not quite cookie clicker. You gotta be able to get rid of a bunch of those trees with careful cherry bombing. Probably. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Am I willing to put in the the mental fortitude to actually do that? Not at the moment, but you know, my tune may change as the as the forest of our farm becomes much more dense. Chat, when did we when did we start playing on the forest farm? I thought we were I thought this was the beach farm. Loving tofu stew later tonight. Ooh, forever pluey. That sounds I don't think I've ever tried that. It does sound good though. I'm a I'm a big stew enjoyer for the most part. I've never never met a stew that I didn't like. Just buy infinite cherry bombs. We do have access to infinite cherry bombs. Alright. Banana pudding. Probably, I mean, I guess I could probably just ship the banana pudding, to be honest with you. Put it in here with everything else that we might sell eventually in the future. Stew is awesome, especially when it gets colder outside. Amen. Once the cold weather hits, stew and chili is, uh is on the menu, like, at least once a week for me most of the time. Just such cozy comfort foods. I love it. Oh, I forgot to go buy a, uh... Forgot to go buy a shirt from Sandy. That's okay, though. What's an idle game? It's like, uh... Like, the archetypal example of it would be Cookie Clicker. It's basically a game where, like, you don't have to do that. Like, you have to do... You, you can just leave it idle, and the game kind of plays itself a lot of the time. Once you get to a certain point, anyway. Like, with Cookie Clicker, you start off clicking the cookie manually to get cookies. And then once you get enough cookies, you can buy, like, a grandma who will bake cookies for you at a set rate. And then you can buy multiple grandmas. You can buy, and you can buy factories, and you can buy, like, auto clickers and whatever whatever else. And as you buy more stuff with all your cookies, you get cook cookies faster and faster. And it's like numbers go up bigger and bigger, faster and faster, so on and so forth. You can buy a grandma. You can buy a grandma, but you may regret it in the future. <laughs> Seems dystopian to me. You know, it, it, it kind of, Cookie Clicker kind of plays into that from what I remember. Line goes up. Exactly. Blackberry. is the, the, We now have a blackberry in the pot. Okay. What I think we're gonna do, let's plant let's plant another fall seed in there, if I if I can. Do you think I, I'm able to I want to hit it, but not in a way that it has this like a little plus on it. I don't know how I did this before. Okay, no that that worked. Okay, that worked. It's still even with the plus, it still worked okay. Now I just have to make sure I'm far enough away. And 
like it like if I do it like this where I don't have the plus on there I should be able to just water it right secret water tech but hold on I'm gonna go I'm gonna go outside first because I gotta get my screenshot OMG what the heck yeah for pe people who weren't here before this is a uh, this is something we just recently discovered is that you can apparently grow multiple things in one garden pot <laughs> I could fill my inventory, actually. That's act that's probably the better way to go about it. But I feel like if I just do it like this, then we're probably fine. Although I gotta time it right, because it becomes unwatered when it ticks over to a new increment of 10 minutes. So we have to do that and go to bed very quickly. More futon bears. Times like these, you wish you had an upgraded watering can. True! We could just water from such a far distance. I admire how you fire on the British from a distance. Thanks for the energy tonic, Pam. The futon bears could come back to save the day here. It's true. You can fill your inventory by splitting an existing stack. Or... Futon bears. Hear me out. I could split my stack of ancient fruit. Or... Futon bear. You know what? Five futon bears and a model ship. They're going on an on an adventure. The futon bears, they're they're now pirate futon bears. You only stand the large futon bears. Well, that's the thing. These five futon bears, if you make them angry, they can go like Power Ranger style and transform into one large futon bear. You don't you just don't want to mess with them. All right, so now we should be totally fine to water that. Well, let me I gotta watch my time. When it takes over to 7.10, we water it. Probably would've been fine there, but... Alright. Lock it Wait, Lock it in, get to bed. Perfect. It's gonna be a stormy ride. You're telling me it's been raining like every single day this spring. Oh, I don't have room for... I don't have room for the jelly. Hold on a second. We have to... Wait, I can just put down a futon bear. I can literally just put it anywhere. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's easy. All right, boom, boom, futon bear acquired. Perfect. How did I even discover this? By total accident. As as most things in life, as as a lot of the best things and most interesting things in this in this game, it was a complete accident. I was just messing around, and all of a sudden, we have Franken crops. I wonder if you could do this with like normal crops. Probably not. It's pr this is probably a, a product of it being like a of them being wild seeds. I wait. I gotta wait for the time. I keep forgetting about that. Wait for the time to cross. All right, perfect. Chocolate chip cookies were an accident. One of the best accidents of all time. All right, futon bear. Perfect. Yeah, fut the futon bears are perfect for this job because I can grab them from like so far away like that. Heck yeah. How long did it take me to notice it stays on water if it takes over? And do I not have retaining soil anymore? I do have retaining soil. But, and we, we noticed it pretty much immediately. Because I would like water it and then I'd walk away. And I would watch it become unwatered before my eyes. I just happened to be looking at the right spot. Trans rights, by the way. Trans rights. Absolutely. Jade's in the wrong place. Did I get flustered and put the jade in the wrong place? You're absolutely correct. Sorry, we'll swap it with a futon bear real quick. How many will I layer? Is there a limit? That's what we're testing right now. You are you are watching me discover it in real time alongside you. So I have no idea what's even possible with this. Either way, let's wait for 720. Okay, perfect. Water it. Off to bed. Why are we growing Franken Forge? Purely for curiosity's sake at this point. Maybe there's an advantage to it in the future. Maybe we'll we'll use it as some kind of weird strategy. But for now, it is merely knowledge for knowledge's sake, which is honestly like the best kind of knowledge.
Should we make a trip to the desert and swap out a full stack of jade for staircases? We probably could, yeah. I don't see a pressing need to, especially because it's, it's, it wouldn't help us that much with like our inventory space issues. Or like our, our chest space issues, I suppose, but... Alright, what do we got here? Juicy bugs wanted and biome balance. Why am I not surprised? Biome balance. We'll, we'll try and trick Demetrius into, into thinking we're actually going to do this. Discovering the next big speedrun strats. Yo, what if this is the gateway to artificial code execution? Actually, I think that's already, like, a thing in Stardew Valley. Well, not artificial code execution, but, like, you can do a lot with, like, copy-pasting stuff in this game. <laughs> Why is it always you two? Alright, wait for 740. Wait for it. Perfect. I'm excited. We have yet to see two fully grown crops on top of one another. Two fully grown forage, I should say. We have not gotten to that stage before because I messed it up the first time. But I will not mess it up again. Also, need to make sure I'm doing everything here. There we go. Perfect. Futon bear. You're really curious that the garden pot will remain watered with ultra deluxe retaining soil? It's supposed to, but not sure with these circumstances. That's actually what we have in there. We have the deluxe retaining soil in there right now. We haven't been having to water the garden pot this entire time up until this like weird glitch. We use, yeah, the deluxe retaining soil, 100% chance. So, <laughs> the game is fighting back. The game is very much fighting back against what we're trying to do here, but it's not fighting back hard enough quite yet. All right, wait for 7 o'clock. Perfect. Lock it in. Yeah, this is, this is the correct retaining soil. And even it, even that retaining soil cannot retain water through time and space like this. Okay. I'm going to have to put the futon bear, put the futon bear down. Swap this out. Grab the futon bear again. Oh, the futon bear, they work differently in the in the basement here. Do I only play Stardew? On my channel is pretty much all I play. Every so often I'll mix it up a little bit, but for the most part this is, uh, this is what I do, yeah? I wouldn't mind, mind mixing it up in the future, though, that's for sure. But for now, I'm still... I'm still loving Stardew Valley, and I always will be loving Stardew Valley. How do I know if the soil is becoming unwatered, or if it, is it visually unwatering itself, but it's still watered? I don't, maybe it is just a visual effect, but I don't, I, I don't, I haven't tested it, actually. We could test it. I could, I could, like, water this. Because, like, if it's, if it's staying watered, it should be fully grown tomorrow. But, like, yeah, because it becomes visually unwatered when we, when we when the time ticks over at 740, it'll become unwatered again, yeah. But it might just be a visual artifact. Why don't we leave it in this state right now, just tonight? If it is still watered, it should be grown tomorrow. Um, If it's not watered, then, I mean, yeah, because, like, Thursday is when they become fully grown, because they take seven days. So, yeah, let's, let's see if it's fully grown tomorrow or not. Anything else I need to do today? Um, you know what, I might top up the silos, just because I'm thinking about it. And it's, it has been like a whole month, so. If it were just visual, it wouldn't change on time. You're probably right. But I'm willing to, I'm willing to experiment just to see. Start some wine, oh yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a thing as well, thank you. Okay, the flower dance has begun in the forest. I'm not about that life. Not right now, anyway. All right, so let's just leave it. Leave it unwatered this time, and we'll see if it uh, doesn't grow tomorrow. Why does everyone have swords? The swords are there. 
Okay. So it grew, but it re so it, it did grow and it replaced the blackberry entirely. Unless the blackberry is still under there and we just can't see it. It might it might have completely erased it though. It was just a visual visual glitch apparently, yeah. The mushroom ate the blackberry. Yeah, I, I think we have to harvest this and find out, right? Futon bears, thank you for your service. Let's harvest and see what we got here. Common mushroom. Nothing else. Can I pick them both? No, I could I could only pick the mushroom. Okay. Is the blackberry in the room with us? The blackberry has been consumed. Blackberry destroyed. So you so you can't like stack stacks on stacks on stacks of forge this way. That's good to know. That's good to know. It it, it is disappointing. This is a diff disappointing revelation. Reality is often disappointing. But uh It is what it is. At least we discovered it, right? That was an interesting experiment. I know, right? Yeah. And now we know. And now there's no reason to, uh... No reason to do any more. You think I could plant a second fall seed? On top of a pre-existing fall seed? No. Okay. It's not quite that glitched. That's that's good to know. Not every day you, you discover a little glitch like that in Stardew, though. Probably, like I said, probably something that's already known about, but... It's still fun to see. Fungi prevail. You can do both a crop and a forge at the same time, according to Alexion. Very interesting. I'm not going to try that here because we get it. We'd get experience from doing a crop. But that is uh, that's interesting. Forge is coded differently from crops. Case in point. <laughs> All right. Lock it in. Today I learned. How do Stardew mushrooms even work? How do, like, real mushrooms even work? Let's be honest here. Does anybody know? Any mycologists in chat? Maybe because the game was open so long, weird things happen to yours when you leave it open so long. I don't know if that was a product of it being open so long. It's, I mean, it's possible. Who knows? There, there might be some weird shenanigans going on in the background that we can't see because it's been open so long. But it hasn't been open, like, a crazy long time anyway. Yo, thank you for the sub, uh, Brush. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. He just launched the game and got the same as me. Whoops. There we go. Alright, so it has nothing to do with the game being open as long as it has been. That's the thing. Stardew Valley is a pretty stable game. For the most part. If you know what you're doing, you can definitely mess around with it. But I feel like just leaving it open for a long period of time is not going to cause any adverse, adverse effects most of the time. Except maybe to just like your PC... Fungi are more closely related to animals than plants. I've, I've heard that before. And honestly, I believe it. Fung, fungi are weird. Despite their name, they're not all that fun. At least not in my opinion. They're kind of... They're, they're interesting. They're quirky. Quirk guys. Submitted some Blade is one of the Stardew Valley myths to bust. That'd be I don't know what the myth would be though. I think it's just like a, a fun glitchy phenomenon. Does it have any practical applications? Maybe. If you needed to grow a specific item in your garden pot, a specific forage and weren't able to harvest the other ones for some reason that you could possibly get from those wild seeds, then that could be an out that would allow you to, like, if you accidentally grew, like, a wild horseradish, but you wanted a leek, 
and you didn't want to pick the wild horseradish, then you could plant seeds under it and you could destroy the wild horseradish with the leak in the future. It'd, it would be some niche sort of challenge run situation is the only thing I can think that would be useful for. But it is, uh... It is interesting. So glad to see someone else find this glitch organically. It's rare for me to encounter the suit top. It is rare for me to encounter the suit top. I, I mean, that's a, that's a once in a lifetime event. A formal top for fancy events and celebrations? Don't mind if I do. Ooh la la. Beatrix is getting getting her formal wear for, for I don't know for something in the future. <laughs> I could in theory get a leak out of one garden pot on two consecutive days. That's also true. Yeah, like if you if you picked the one that was already in there, the day before the second one grew, you could get it on consecutive days like that. That's in, that's an interesting thought too. We fancy now. We don't have good matching pants for it, but we do be looking pretty snazzy. Alright, put this away here. Beautiful. Off to bed we go. All right, and at the start of summer here, the only thing, the only extra thing that I think we need to worry about doing is planting some pineapple and taro for the Junimos to harvest in order to future-proof ourselves against certain goals. Otherwise, I think we're just, uh, we just continue on our grind here. Underrated clothing item is the one you get from tailoring a wilted bouquet. You've got my interest, Karita. We could get a wilted bouquet. I don't know. I don't know what it tailors into off the top of my head. It's probably one of those things that I would tailor it and be like, "Oh yeah, I kind of remember this." Fungi network is something else. I've seen. I've seen like representations of like a fungus network. It's like the uh, where like they do like a cross sectional viewing of like a forest landscape, and they show all like the different fungus roots going down beneath the earth and like they're inner they're like interconnected webs it's like it's like looking at like the internet or like a brain or something how do you get a wilted bouquet you uh put a regular bouquet that you buy from pierre into a furnace and you can give it to someone that you are in a relationship with to uh dump them not something that most people endeavor to do in Stardew Valley a lot of the time, but it is an option. The darkness suit. Sounds like something Agent 47 would wear. What the heck? <laughs> it is Monday. Monday fun day. It's also ancient fruit day, but it's also, also special request day. And I don't know why, but I feel like the odds of getting island ingredients are higher the earlier in the season you are. I don't know if the game is smart that way. And that because it's like a quest that requires a lot of time like that, it's more likely to give it to you early in a season. But I feel like every time we've seen it, it's been early in a season. So I don't know. It's just anecdotal evidence at this point. But let's, uh, let's go find out. I feel like the odds are in our favor right now. What hat is Iota wearing? It's a little butterfly bow. I guess we probably could swap our outfit because it's no longer spring, but honestly, this still fits the vibe. Aquatic overpopulation and Pierre's prime produce. Oh. That was me stretching, but also sighing in dismay at the at the quests. This severe lack of good quests. 28 days though. We'll take that. Those darn fish. Come on, Demetrius. Enough with the fish already. I know I'm not literally- I'm literally catching zero fish, so I'm actively, like, I mean, I guess passively fighting or helping the overpopulation problem. I can actually do Pierre, Pierre's Prime Produce, though. 
Harvest gold quality vegetables, place the crops in the empty produce box in Pierre's shop. So to do this, I would have to plant lots of vegetables. And when they're ready to be harvested, I would use a farming buff to make sure that I can get high gold quality ones. I mean, we could try. But doesn't Pierre, Pierre's Prime Produce also repeats, right? So even if we did it, it wouldn't be out of the... It wouldn't be completely impossible for it to come up again. We will have to do it... Or do we have to do it eventually? I don't know if you get a recipe out of that one. I'm trying to remember. I feel like you do get a recipe out of it. It doesn't repeat, and you get a mini shipping bin. I'm getting conflicting reports, so I'm gonna visit the Stardew Wiki. Quests. Special orders. Pierre's Prime Produce. Prerequisites. Repeatable? No. It is not repeatable, and it gets you the mini shipping bin. Now that's interesting. Yeah, brush, try, try refreshing. Try refreshing to see if the lag fixes for you. It's, it might be on your end or YouTube's end or something like that. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully that, that works out for you. It's crop orders that repeats. Okay, so Pierre's Prime Produce. If we can get it out of the way... That would actually be pretty nice. That would be another, at, at least one more quest that we can, uh, that we can knock out and make sure we never see again. Yeah, Brush, can I get you to, <laughs> Brush, I know that you're lagging, but I need you to, to calm down for a moment because you're, you just keep spamming lag, so cool it with the spam a little bit. Please and thank you, I would appreciate it. Brush, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you a third time. If you if you if you keep spamming, then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give you a timeout. I'm afraid. The spamming and stuff like that is against our rules in chat here. I think they might be a bot. <laughs> I don't know if they're a bot. I think they've responded to things that I've been saying in the stream. So. No lag woo. Alright, well if you if you behave yourself, Brush, then I'm I'm happy to let you not give you a timeout, but be careful. Because <laughs> I I'm I got my eye on you. Alright. Um what are we doing here? Ancient fruits is perfect. So I wanted to plant some pineapples and I wanted to plant some taro, but now, in the interest of Pierre's prime produce, do we also want to plant some vegetables to try and do this? Also, do I have farm buffing food? I, I know we did just get, the, we got that one pepper popper from Shane. I don't know if we have anything else. Wheat grows in four days. Wheat counts as a vegetable. I would classify it as a grain, personally. Plus two farming. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure wheat is a vegetable. You're right. So we could go, we could go wheat, or we could go corn or something. No worries, brush. Misunderstanding, I'm sure. How many do I have in my Junimo huts? Do I have any gold quality vegetables already in my Junimo huts? I didn't actually even look at that. I don't think I do. There's not that much left in the Junimo huts right now. There there are two gold quality corns and a gold quality green bean right here. I don't think it has to be the same vegetable, no. Does that count? I've harvested three gold quality vegetables now. Hog. Okay, so I could put the I could give these to Pierre, and then we just have to get twenty-two more. 
check if wheat is a vegetable. It, it is. It is. I saw it. I saw it, yeah, in the other chest. Quality fertilizer with just level zero farming is an 8% chance of gold. If I get six cycles of wheat, every spot is a 48% chance of gold approximately. If I just, if I dedicate about 50 to 60 spots, I'm good. Okay. We could do that. Yeah, why not? Move the Junimo huts, plant a bunch of wheat, put the huts back, put the hut back before the ancient fruit fully regrows. That would be smart. That would be smarter than just like yeeting 50 ancient fruit plants. But am I willing to do that and then have to like water every day? I mean, it's only for four days that I have to water technically. I need, I need the pineapple and the taro anyway. Do I have to fertilize for gold? You don't have to fertilize for gold, but it definitely increases your odds. All right, well, let's go. First and foremost, let's just go buy whatever seeds we need before um, before Pierre's closes. You think taro is also a vegetable? That's good to know, because we are going to be growing some taro. We might as well... I'm going to go to Ginger Island anyway to get whatever, uh, like, pineapple and taro seeds I've got kicking around there. I'm pretty sure I have some. Excuse me, Marnie. Excuse you, I should say. Yeah, wheat seeds is the way to go. They're so cheap. This is, this is easy. 50, 50 spots for the entire month. Yeah, so I would have... To, okay. Let's just bite the bullet and get rid of a bunch of ancient fruit plants. <laughs> like I said, like I said towards the beginning of the stream, we don't really even care that much about ancient fruit anymore. So I'm I'm totally fine with just getting rid of a whole bunch of it. It's going to hurt, but honestly, it's not going to hurt that much because we're we're pretty well off as far as money goes between all the ancient fruit we currently have. And all of the uh, animal produce that we have that's just building up passively over time. I think we're going to be just fine. This is better for the challenge overall. Yeah. When you harvest wheat with a scythe, you get XP? You do. Yeah. Unfortunately. Just save enough fruit for seeds. Even then, I don't know if we... I mean, I guess I should save some ancient fruit for seeds so we can do it in the future, but I don't think we're going to need to necessarily buy a lot of seeds or use a lot of ancient fruit seeds, have big ancient fruit crops going forward here. I think the time for ancient fruit is coming to an end. Rainbow shell taunting us. You know, the mango tree is fully grown. That's nice to see. Do I have... I've got 54 taro tubers. Do I have any pineapple seeds? I thought I got pineapple seeds at some point from like a volcano chest. Maybe I don't. I mean, they're not in here. Maybe I have them at home and I just didn't realize it. Might have died. Did I die and lose the pineapple seeds? Potentially. Pineapple seeds. I could try. I could trade one magma cap for pineapple seeds here. That's also an option. I'd have to go get a magma cap, but <laughs> that is that is, a, that is an option. That's for sure. In the 16th year, we distanced ourselves from ancient fruit. We don't need ancient fruit anymore, except that for the shipping goal. We have animal produce for money. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, I don't think there's... I'm going to check back at home one more time. I thought I could have sworn I had pineapple seeds somewhere, to be honest with you. I did not have a chest of the volcano, no. 
I have I have a very sparse amount of chests, and I use them quite carefully because they're they're not easy to come by right now. Yeah, let's go have a quick look at the at home, see if we got any pineapple seeds kicking around. If not, it's not the end of the world. It would be annoying to have to like go out of my way and get pineapple seeds and like grow them in the future. I, maybe we should go out of way and just get pineapple seeds right now then once we get things squared away on our farm here. Welcome back, Clawtooth. Caroline has spurned us, unfortunately. So Caroline is not cooperating in the slightest. But now we're trying to finesse Pierre's prime produce because we should be able to, in theory. And uh, and it's a non-repeating quest, so that would be that would be great. Can you get pineapple seeds from Skull Cavern? I don't believe so. No. I don't see any pineapple seeds in here. What about in the fridge, just randomly? I don't think so. But okay. Sandy shirt, might as well. New fave YouTuber. Thank you very much, Brush. That's very nice of you to say. How did I get them in Price of Perfection? You can just get them from Volcano volcano Dungeon Chests. Is a wearable shirt, by the way. It's just a, ni just a nice navy blue shirt. You know what? I, there's nothing wrong with that. Pick this up in the bargain bin at Old Navy. Wouldn't be too upset about that. Can you get ancient fruit in the crop order quest? That would be pretty good, but I don't think I don't think that it's one of the options, as far as I know. Maybe it is. I don't know if maybe it can just be any any crop. I'd have to look into the actual specifics of the crop order quest. Gold coconuts. Oh, we could open some gold coconuts for pineapple seeds. That's actually a good point. We have six gold coconuts here. We could try and get some pineapple seeds that way. So I'm pretty sure they do come out of gold coconuts, right? Either way. I'm not about to plant all 54 tarot tubers either, um, which is actually 61 tarot tubers. I'll plant all this wheat because this is what we need for oh, I, I have quality fertilizer. I, I, I only have 20 quality fertilizer. I should have bought more Pierre. But now it's too late. It's too late in the day to go back and buy more. Shoot. Okay. Um, we can definitely... Do do the twenty quality fertilizer with these with at least twenty of the wheat here, or do we just wait till tomorrow? I guess we just wait a day. Yeah, we probably it's probably better to just wait a day for this because it's not like the wheat's not going to take that long to grow anyway. It's fine. We're, it's not going to mess it up too much. We will miss out on like one harvest in theory. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think this through. How many tarot tubers do I care do I care to grow? I'll grow like ten tarot tubers. It's probably overkill even, but better to have too many than not enough. Wheat without quality fertilizer is useless. Should be bone milling stuff just to build up stocks of fertilizer at all. Yo, welcome on in, Oceana. One percent chance in co in contrast to eight percent chance. I'm actually with you on this bone mill. Yeah, we should definitely be using it at least to the for what we have. We don't have that much to go through. I think we'll just wait a day. Yeah. Lock it in. Have a good one there, Holus. Thank you very much. What did I ship? Oh, I shipped a prehistoric hand axe. You can buy it from Pierre. I think, yeah, I think you can buy from Pierre in, like, year two onwards, right? Quality fertilizer. Ooh, speaking of quality fertilizer, though. Ten quality fertilizer? What the heck? Wait, the bone mill is cracked. I didn't even realize that you could get... I thought you get, like, two or three.
Please cool it with the spam there, brush. Final final warning. I've you've repeated the same message three times in a row. I'm I've, I, like I said, I got my eye on you, so that constitutes spam. Even if it's even if it's nice spam, it still it still constitutes spam. Yo, know, ten quality fertilizer is a. Uh, is actually kind of insane from the bone mill though. I don't even know, I don't know what the odds on that are. Maybe it's more common than I thought it was. Maybe the bone mill is secretly really, really good. Maybe not even secretly. Maybe it's just I've never <laughs> rated it that well. All right, let's go ahead and let's just, let's just start chopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 07 for the ancient fruits. This does hurt a little bit. I didn't think it would hurt that much, but it does hurt. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. The more I do it, actually, the more cathartic it feels. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We need 10 more for these tarot tubers as well. And for like other things we might want to grow in the future. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. There we go. We cut our ancient fruit field like in half. But... <laughs> But it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it, I promise you. Because the ancient fruit, we don't really care about that any that much anymore. If you're upset and uh, and hurt by all those ancient fruit plants dying, just look in my inventory and realize I currently have 352 ancient fruit that I'm, that's just, like, sitting there. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to miss it all that much. This is weird, sad music. Yeah, money is the least of our problems anymore. How the tables have turned. I guess that's what happens when you have to get the golden clock just that early on. Is that you get your money situation sh sorted out, like, really early on as well. And then you're just, like, good for the rest of the run, more or less. If you keep up your chores. If I grow 50 wheat, 6... 50 wheat times 6 with an 8% chance. I'll only have 70% chance of completing the quest. Have we, fact have we factored in the um, pepper popper buff that Shane gave us? We have a plus 2 farming buff for one of our harvests. Yeah, we, on we only have it for one harvest. Alright, number 1, let's buy quality fertilizer here. Quality fertilizer. Get it up to 50. I guess I should buy just all my wheat while I'm here as well. Because we're probably going to... It's better than having to come back every single time I need to plant more wheat. So let's just get... That's three, four, five... Make it like six harvests, yeah. Perfect. So we got the quality fertilizer. We don't need, we don't need like 300 quality fertilizer. The quality fertilizer should still carry over for the, um, for every harvest. So we should be fine that way. Do we need to check in with Gus every now and again for more potential buffs? It's not a bad idea. Been a while since I called my favorite sussy Gussie. Yo, Gus. Is your refrigerator running? Is you better go catch it. Got him. Carp surprise. You love to see it. <laughs> All right. There we go. 93% chance of completing the quest with, with these newfound odds with the pepper poppers. Okay, so if we could get even one more farming buff... We'd be sitting pretty. We have the pepper poppers. We don't have anything else, do we? Pepper poppers. We have one complete breakfast as well. Hash browns, but we want to save those for cooking. 
Okay. The complete breakfast, I think that should... Does that lock us in? We have. We now have two plus two farming buffs. We are able to make more complete breakfasts. So we, we could cook another complete breakfast. I never thought that one would come back, back into play here. Hash brown, milk, fried egg, pancakes. Do we have all that? We have the fried egg, we have the hash browns, we have the milk, we have the pancakes. We could we could make another complete breakfast. Complete complete breakfast makes it 99.2% chance. Yo, whoever would have thought that our only cooking goal that we've completed so far would come in clutch like that. I don't think we should do it right now. I think if we find ourselves towards the end of this quest and we're stressing about it, then maybe we'll give it a We'll give it a shot. It'll be a Hail Mary. But it's good to know we had that in our back pocket. Hash browns themselves do plus one farming. But we can turn it into plus two farming with just a, a little bit of kitchen magic. Kitchen magic. Use the buffs on the penultimate and final harvests. That's pro that's actually, yeah, that's a good that's a good point. We just use it on the on the final few harvests. Final couple harvests, because. Why not? Because if we if we just happen to get lucky and get everything we need in like the first like four harvests or whatever it is, then uh, then we'll be happy we saved the farming bus for the future. All right, let's get these all planted. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, I actually have the smartest chat of all time. <laughs> I feel like I never would have done like done this myself if I if it weren't for chat. So I appreciate you, chat. You you the real MVPs. All right, that's fifty right there. Let's go ahead and plant the tarot tubers just to get them out of here. I might have miscounted like how many I how many crops I destroyed before, so that's that's fine. I guess I can plant one more. Well, we can save a spot for a pineapple plant, I guess. That's That works. Okay. Now we fertilize. Gotta make sure I'm not accidentally fertilizing a terra tuber spot. It should be safe now. Forgot how close level 1 farming is. Yeah, we, we grew all the starfruit that we could in order to expedite the Junimo hut process. And that's why our farming level is, like, so close to happening. Okay. And I have those ready for just for future. Just just so I don't have to, like, think about it. Because, like, who knows? By the time, like, the harvest comes when I need a farming buff, I might be talking about sandwiches or something. And, I, and I'll just be, like, breezing on past. And then I'll be like, wait, I needed the farming buff today. And I can't reset the day because of the ginger. No! And, you know, so on and so forth. And we touched the duck! <laughs> We did touch a duck, that's part of the farming experience, actually, you're right. I thought you were playing off what I was saying, but you're just spitting straight facts, Cass. Alright. Did we get our Sandy shirt today? I don't remember. You're watching my goals and hoping that Junimo Huts won't be forced before a farming level for Starfruit? I'm trying to think. Is there... I mean, is there a way around it? I'm... Uh, well... I don't know. I'll leave that to you to figure that one out, Alexion. <laughs> I have faith. All right. Have a good one there, Blaine. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. All right, let's go. Let's go do our sandy shirt run, and then we will. I guess we just go to bed at that point, huh? I think we're. I think we're locked in. As good as we're gonna be. You're bad at Stardew. The great thing about Stardew is that no matter your skill level, you can still. The game will meet you on your own turn on its. Oh, we already have a yellow and green shirt. We don't need to buy a second one. The game will just the game will meet you at whatever skill level you're at. You can still have fun playing Stardew. 
even if you aren't the best at the mechanical aspects of it. One of the many things I love about the game. It can be as easy or as hard as you want. For the most part, anyway. Dub me I'm the only duck we can now tell from the others. E I mean, even now we can't tell at a glance necessarily. I mean, I can because I just know Dubnium that well. But like, but on a conceptual level. Naomi, welcome on in. We are currently trying to uh, to make Pierre's Prime Produce happen. So that, we, so that we can get out of the way for our for the future of our challenge here. It's not required to get a recipe, but it does it does get us a mini shipping bin, which could come in handy at some point. And it makes it so that island ingredients, the quest that we're actually after, is much more likely to come around. Well, not much more likely to come around, but more likely to come around at the very least. Does Pi love us yet? I think that happened in year one. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess, I think Pi does love us. I don't remember when that was, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Pi is loving us. I would be very surprised if we had not reached that threshold just yet. That would be kind of, kind of flooring. Alright, the last thing I want to do before we commit back to just, you know, sleeping till Mondays and stuff, or at least sleeping till our wheat is ready. Wait, when's our wheat going to be ready? We planted it on the 2nd, so it would be ready on the 6th, right? Because it's four days, so we're, so we're, we're chill until the 6th. But the one thing I want to do still is I want to get a pineapple seed. I want to get, go get a pineapple seed. We have one spot, one free spot on our farm right now. We'll have more once, like, the taro and stuff grows. But I, I, for now, I just, I think we only really need, like, one pineapple plant. Because that'll get us, like, what, like, three pineapples? If we plant it as early as possible here. And then we will, uh... And that should be... Is three pineapples enough for everything we need? We have one. We need one for shipping. We need one for cooking, and that's it? Question mark. What year is this? We are in year sixteen, and we are schmoving through it. We are booking it through year sixteen. <laughs> Savon, welcome on in. Just waiting for Ginger Island to open up. Because, you know, I didn't I didn't really come prepared for this, actually, now that I think about it. Because I, I want to go into the volcano to get a magma cap. We only have to get to floor, like, five of the volcano to get a magma cap. Because we should get that guaranteed one on the... Uh, on floor five. We do still have to get that far, which is going to require the watering can, bare minimum, but also probably some other preparation here. I'm going to post a PDF for a clothing checklist in the stream discussion. It'll be helpful for keeping track of clothes, but it's for items you can tailor, not bought items. Appreciate it, Miss Palindrome. Thank you. I think I actually do have a clothing checklist that I, that I made somewhere. I'm trying to... Rem I feel like... Exclamation point clothing or exclamation point clothes? Does that still link to anything? I think I think I set that up for the Iron Man challenge and then I've like completely forgot about that since since then. I don't know if it's it's probably just pretty rudimentary, but I think I did I did do the legwork to set that up in the past. Yeah, there's still there's still something there. I haven't looked at the spreadsheet in a hot minute. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the watering can, and I would like to bring with me as well the Homie sword for extra protection. Oh, homie sword's right there. Perfect. Oh, I also have to be careful. Hold on, I'm gonna grab some futon bears because I'm gonna be to get to the volcano. I'm gonna have to go past some ginger, so we should get some futon bears for the road. Fill up our inventory for right now.
It's linked to like five Iron Man shirts. Yeah, we got the watering can, we got the sword. I think we're I think we'll be fine now. I probably should have put on some better boots, just for, like, armor's sake, but you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We have 641 mushrooms. What's the worst that could happen? We die and lose all 351 ancient fruit, and then we can't reset because of the ginger thing, so, like, we're just stuck with that? I don't- I'm not worried, chat. I'm not worried. Do you have enough confidence in me that I'm walking around with such a volatile inventory? One of our farming buffs, all of the wheat seeds that we purchased, all of our ancient fruit, and I'm heading into the volcano where I could very easily die, and I'm not that prepared at all. How much confidence do you have in me? This is this is the trust test. Trust falling with strangers. Maybe I should bring some salads. We have mushrooms. We'll be fine. Please know my anxiety. I am I I will do everything in my power to survive this volcano run, chat. I'm gonna be eating mushrooms. I'm just gonna be guzzling mushrooms. You're not gonna to wanna to smell Beatrix's breath after this is all said and done. Do I have, I do have enough walnuts to build this bridge. I guess I can probably just do that, huh? Well, no, we'll save them up because maybe there's better things we wanna use them on in the future. That's just like a convenience thing. What are we volcanoing for? I need to get a magma cap that I can trade at the island trader for a pineapple seed so that I can grow the pineapples on my farm so the Junos can harvest them because it's summer and that's the only time you can grow them on your farm and I can't harvest them on Ginger Island like you normally would because you can't get Junimo huts on Ginger Island. And I need pineapples because I'm going to need one for the future. Like, if my next goal is, like, ship a pineapple and we're in fall, then I'm going to be real sad because I'm going to have to go to the next year to grow a pineapple instead. So I'm trying to grow it now so that if we do get that goal, I'll be like, Pog, I'm vindicated and we don't have to worry about that ever again. Also, tropical curve. I think we should all be on the same page now. Please don't say guzzling mushrooms. <laughs> What's wrong? Is, is there something wrong about the word guzzling? I feel like guzzling is a perfectly... is a perfectly cromulent word. Alright, Brush, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little timeout, because you are saying things in chat, and, you know, this might just be... Maybe you need... Maybe you need to learn the hard way. I am passing a chest, but that's just because I was looking at chat and, and dealing with a situation, so... <laughs> Because I think, Brush, if you're still listening, I think you know what you're doing. And I know that I'm, I was not born yesterday. I have a lot of patience, but I, I'm not going to, you know, even my patience can only go so far when it comes to, you know, messing around in stream chat. Ooh, the dragon scale boot drip, though. Pause. Wait, pause. That's hype, dude. Yo, I love these dragon scale boots. I'm actually going to put them on right now because they're the best. They're a lot better than the, than the rubber boots as far as, like, armor goes. Yo, new drip. New drip? Just in time for Kazoom? Catch me dancing in these Dragonstone Dragon Scale boots all the way to the sock hop, baby. Get your kazoos out. Get your kazoos out, chat. Here we go. Now, now, now there's no shot anything's ever going to kill me in this volcano chat. We just dance around them. We, if we dance to the theme of kazoo, nothing can possibly stop us here. I don't even need to eat any mushrooms. I just put my all my faith in kazoom, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm already, like, at floor four here. Look at this. We're dancing. We're dan we got a mushroom floor. I can't pick any of these mushrooms because they're obviously forging experience, but that's very nice. Thank you. All right, this is the mushroom I'm looking for, though. Bouton bear, thank you. Yo, Allie, welcome on in. Allie and Lisa, good to see you both. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, Kazoom. Anyone dropping in right now and hearing Kazoom is, you know, they're happy they showed up. That's all I can say. 
gold quality even. I think it's the, I think that magma cap in particular is always guaranteed to be gold quality. Not that it matters for us. It's not like we're gonna get a gold quality pineapple seed out of it, but at least the island trader will be happy. Hey there, pickle doof. All right, trade for pineapple seed. Inventory full. Thank you, Futon Bear, for your service. All right, pineapple seed acquired. Take four. They take 14 days to grow. So for some, so okay, so we're only gonna get like two harvests out of this, which is not as good. But maybe two harvests is all that we need still? Question mark. Or maybe do we get three harvests? No, we get one. It'll grow. Yeah, no, two harvests out of this, right? Speed grow. Will we get a, an extra harvest out of it if we speed grow it? One to sell, one to cook. I think that's all we need, yeah. I believe. No no one corrected corrected me on it previously, so I'm gonna assume that it's the truth. And we're just gonna we're just gonna go from there. Yo, it's a petting frenzy. Y'all petting, petting pie and Timby. Just be careful that you don't uh, verge on spam with those commands, because that has been known to happen. It is. I, I like the commands as much as the next person. I appreciate y'all giving love to pie and Timby, but it does tend to flood the chat. So just, you know, be be cautious. <laughs> it's okay, Oceana. It's, okay. it's totally fine. No harm done. It's just, you know, those commands, they are prone to causing spam, so... Deluxe speed grow will get me an extra harvest. Okay, I think we still have some deluxe speed grow, don't we? Yas, all right. Heck yeah. I'm taking it on faith. Arabella, I'm, I'm taking it on faith that you, you know what you're talking about here. I appreciate you. Extra harvest. Ooh, the taro's already growing nicely. I, I forget how fast taro even grows. There we go. Pineapple seed, planted, speed growed. That should get us an extra harvest, just for peace of mind. I don't think we'll need the third pineapple, but having an F having a third pineapple, I mean, maybe it tailors into something really amazing. Zoom getting everyone in a cuddly mood. I wouldn't call Kazoom a cuddly song for me. I would call it more of a more of a like dancing song. Like I, I'm not much of a dancer most of the time. Kazoom makes me want to get up on my feet and do like. Do the the Charleston or something? <laughs> what the heck? I don't know any dances, dude. I don't, what are, what are the kids doing on TikTok these days? People still do the Fortnite floss. I don't even know anymore. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. My I don't know where this brick flooring is supposed to go. I think that it was where this tree is now growing here. <laughs> oh, this is this is getting problematic. You're a big dancer, when, but only when you're alone. Dance like nobody's watching because nobody is watching. Very productive day indeed. Pretty productive stream, all things considered. Even though we haven't gotten necessarily closer to getting our solar panel yet. We are still making uh, strides in the right direction, that's for sure. Will I ever do a face reveal? There will probably come a time where you'll see my face. I would I would hazard a guess, but I'm in no rush. I know it's commonplace and often even expected for you know people to like stream with uh with like a little face cam on the side these days. That's like the norm. It didn't used to be the norm, but now it's the norm. But I don't know. I don't have I don't have a good setup for that right now, to be honest with you. I don't have a good setup. I don't have a good camera. I need to like invest in in all that and make sure I have it all set up because I'm a perfectionist through and through. So I, if I wanted to get a face cam on my stream at any point, I would need to I would need it to be like good quality. I don't want to just like be like, hey guys, I busted on my old laptop webcam. <laughs> so now you can look at my face in in nice 144p quality.
I have a face in your head, so it might be uh, might be jarring to get a face reveal. I've I've thought about that too. That like you know people probably have a an idea of what I look like based on like descriptions I've given, and seeing my actual face will shatter that illusion. Not that that's that big of a concern, but it is still something to think about, you know? Why even go to 144p? 52p? I didn't even know 52p was a thing. Alright. Are we good to go? I think we, we planted the pineapple. I think we've done everything we need to really do today, right? You imagine me as my profile picture? I'm just I'm just a literal atom of argon, of elemental argon. <laughs> I mean, for all you know, right? Uh, let's go ahead and put some more hay in the silo because I'm paranoid about it. I've let it, I've let it get down to zero a couple times just by completely forgetting about it. So now I'm just gonna try and stay on top of it as best I can. You picture me as a character from My Little Pony? My Pony Sona? What are the current sub-goals to the solar panel? Right now, all the, all the, the only sub-goal really is to get the island ingredients quest where we have to ship 100 ginger. Um, that's all that's... Every, everything else. I mean, to get the ingredients to actually craft the solar panel, there's might be some legwork to do there as well. But compared to compared to getting the quest and stuff, it shouldn't be that bad. All right, fall seed. Do a quick little glitchy garden pot. Boom. I guess I should also water it probably. I'm just killing time right now. Kind of. I mean, we we are also like in in the interest of getting the island ingredients quest, um, a sub sub goal, if you will. We are doing Pierre's prime produce because this, if we complete this quest, it won't appear on the board again. So we can make it so island ingredients is theoretically more likely to show up because you know the slot cannot be taken up by this quest. So that is the that's the crux of it right now. That's where my head's at anyway. All right, and on the sixth, speaking of Pierre's Prime Produce, on the sixth, that'll be our first wheat harvest, right? So we'll check back in on the sixth, see if we can get some good high quality wheat, and then uh, go from there. Wouldn't it be tomorrow? We planted the wheat on the second, not on the first. Because we had to wait to buy extra quality fertilizer from Pierre because I forgore. I forgore, I forgore. If it takes four days, then it should be the sixth, not the not the fifth, if I remember. If I'm if I'm doing my math correctly. You know, I've been out of school for a hot minute, but i I don't feel like my math is quite that bad. I can still do derivatives with the best of them. Well, maybe not the best of them, but derivative of x squared is two x. What does that mean in the grand scheme of things? I don't know, but that's what the answer is. Give me my A+, plus, please. Ten more quality fertilizer. It's pretty hype. Breakfast? We're not worried about the complete breakfast just yet. We're, we're holding off on that until the last couple of harvests. Or the second to last harvest, and then we can use the... Uh, we can also use the pepper poppers on the final harvest if need be. But if we just get lucky enough to get the uh, to get the quality wheat without the buffs, then we might as well save them for later. But what's the integral of 2x? Didn't you hear me? I said I've been out of school for like 10 years. <laughs> the, in the integral of 2x, uh, all I know is that it, it looks like a little, like... It, a long S. It's a long S. That's what the symbol for the integral is. It's like an S that you stretched out like silly putty. Is the integral just the opposite of the derivative? Is the integral of 2x x squared? x squared plus c. Wait, you just unlocked something in my brain. Yeah, it is x squared plus c, isn't it? 
because the derivative could could have been because the derivative of x squared plus one is also two x. So it could, you can't say that the integral is just x squared because you don't know if there was an extra uh, an extra number there. There's still some, there's, it's somewhere buried deep within my brain. The knowledge of calculus is still there. And I feel like, you know, if I sat down and really focused on it, I would probably remember more than I think that I do. But if you're just asking me two, two and a half hours into a Stardew Valley stream, what's the, what's the derivative of, like, you know, of three to the power of 18 plus, or three X, See, I can't even formulate the question. That's how bad I am. All right, we do have four gold quality wheat here. That's pretty hype. Four gold quality wheat. I don't think we... This hut, maybe... Does this hut... Did this hut get any? We got some of the hay. Didn't get any gold quality wheat. But four gold quality wheat out of our, out of our first 50. Seems like a pretty good... Uh, seems like a pretty good, pretty good odds to me. I guess it tracks with the 8%. Right? Because with the quality fertilizer, level zero farming, Alexion, you said it was 8% for gold quality wheat, so 4 out of 50. Isn't 4 out of 50 exactly 8%? So you know what? We're, we're on track. <laughs> we are literally on track. Not bad for no buffs or anything. Yeah, it's, it's just fertilizer. Just fertilizer and little Junimo hands. All right. Get rid of some of these seeds here, little seedlings. Miss, you think I missed one spot? Oh, I do have 201 wheat, you're right. Good catch. Good catch, Jerry. A Junmo is standing on it. Can't even be mad about that. Is it down here? Am I, am I blind? Wait, where? Oh, it's over there. Okay, it's right there. You go. Tucked away inside the tarot. Tucked away in the tarot. Sounds like a new podcast airing on Amazon Prime. Fine, you can't even remember those details anymore, but you did always find integrals easier than derivatives back in college. I think I was the opposite. I found derivatives easier than integrals. But I never had too much trouble with, with either of them when I was actually in class learning about it. Chad, do you think that the average student in 11th grade is smarter than the average 30-year-old? At least when it comes to, like, you know, like, book smarts. When it comes to, like, life experience, the 30-year-olds got you beat every every way to Sunday. But if you if you were to give each of them a test, like a, like a, like a, a scholastic test. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I, th I think when I phrase it like that, you know, probably it's pretty clear that the 11th graders coming out on top. Yeah, for for book smarts, yeah. I feel like I feel like you know, there's no shot. Depends on the individual at 30. That's the, yeah. That's why I was saying average 30 year old. Because there are definitely some like super genius 30 year olds out there. I guess you'd need, you wouldn't need to be a super genius to beat the average 11, 11th, uh, 11th grader, probably, but you need, you'd need to know a thing or two about a thing or two. The 40-year-old's gonna school all y'all? Depends, though. Depend, depends on the content of the test, I suppose, is, is the ultimate, the ultimate determining factor there. Like we can talk about it all we want and be like, you know, I think that I think the thirty-year-olds would have a leg up because you know they have so much more life experience and just general wisdom about the world. So you know, the questions that they're they're probably gonna be asking on the test, you know, the average person might have a better shot at than someone who hasn't really lived that long. But then it's like, oh, but the eleventh grader they're suffused with knowledge all the time, much more than the thirty-year-old because they're constantly in that school setting and learning new things all the time, and their brain is much more malleable and and able to learn things. And then they get to the test, and question number one 
is who is the person with the most followers on TikTok? And it's like, well... <laughs> was it worth study? Was it worth studying those integrals? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and put away the wood here. All right, so we replanted the wheat. We're good to go. Might as well not worry about dropping it off at Pierre's until until the quest is actually ready to go. Have a good one there, Arabella. Sleep well. In 11th grade, you can still translate a Latin text. Those skills go quickly if you don't use them. That's very true. I, I was a lot better at uh, at French when I was in high school than I am now, that's for sure. I can still get by... Like, like, I, like, if you plot me down in the middle of France, I'm sure I could probably do better than a lot of people. But fluent, I am not. Not anymore. I think there probably was a time when I was, like, relatively fluent in French. Those days have long since passed because I very rarely get a chance to use it anymore. <laughs> Also depends on how good of a student they are. That's true. There are a lot of factors to it. Ooh, little tree fertilizer. Don't mind if I do. I'll, I'll, I'll see you this tree fertilizer and raise you a mummified frog. Hen tree fertilizer. Holy moly. It's kind of kind of busted. Don't think I've don't think it's escaped my notice that it is Monday. Could the island ingredients quest finally bestow itself upon us? Will this whole Pierre's Prime Produce fiasco not even be required at the end of the day? Only one way to find out. For the recipe, you don't have to ship a hundred of an item from Ginger Island. You do. But the only item that we are able to do with is ginger, because that's the only one we've had previously. A hundred tarot roots. Caroline. What's... Enough with the tarot, please. Uh, you got me so excited for the first time in, like, months. We got to see the island ingredients stationary. All these lovely little palm trees. It's so cute. And then, But then I look down, and it's just tarot roots tarot roots as far as the eye can see i feel it hasn't we've seen this quest i think three times so far and all three times haven't they uh hasn't it been tarot roots i'm about to make a conspiracy theory here or something maybe next week that's all that's all we can do is say maybe next week and hope for the best queen of sauce was recently spotted dining on fresh hot pepper what a meal i'll take it Yeah, we'll take crop order. We can't complete it, obviously, because we can't ship hot pepper. But, uh, at least it won't show up next week. Could the seed be the cause? I don't think it would be. I think, I, I don't think that it's like, you know, our seed specifically makes it so that it's only tarot root that we can get. I feel like we've just had bad luck. I don't know, maybe that's how it works. I'd, I'd have to look into it, but... I feel like it's, uh, I feel like it can change. Exclamation point blade. Alright, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm going back to bed, honestly. There's nothing, nothing else left to do here. Your head can is that Carol Caroline collects cute washi tape. What's washi tape? It sounds it sounds cute. It reminds me of a it reminds me of the Pokemon Wishy Washi, which makes me happy because that's a fun Pokemon. But I don't know what washi tape is. Tape with a pattern on it. My mom would probably be into that sort of stuff. She's a she's an avid scrapbooker. He probably knows a thing or two about washi tape. I don't know what washi tape is. Can't say that I do. Can't say that I did before now. Now I do. 
printed masking tape, which is used for things like scrapbooking. I never even realized that that's like that that existed. It, I mean, it makes sense. Like scrapbooking is such a popular thing that everything under the sun you could envision, as far as like stationery and stuff goes, has probably been developed somehow. Like if there's something you can picture in your mind's eye, like a like an art or a craft that you want to do, you can probably do it. You just have to find the right tools for the job. It's huge in Japan. Do they have Pokemon-themed washi tape in Japan? Because I know Pokemon is also huge in Japan. Like, way huger than it is around here. And that makes me jealous, because I wish I could just, like, you know, pop down to my local Pokemon Center or something like that. Yes, yeah, I was, I was going to say, I assume there has to be. If it's something that has, like, a pattern on it, you know that Pokemon's getting in on that. They have Pokemon-themed everything. True. There's probably a Pokemon version of this stream out there somewhere. That's how prolific Pokemon is. Do you hear that? Do you hear the... The little shuffling of the Junimos harvesting all our wheat? It's a good sound. Japan takes stationery very seriously. As they should, honestly. I feel like we need to take stationery more seriously. Taro is still growing here. Wait, shouldn't the taro be, like, fully grown? Is that taro not fully grown to you? No, I guess it's not, otherwise I'd be able to harvest it. I don't know, I just feel like it, I feel like taro does not normally take that long. Oh, I guess it's because normally you plant taro near water, right? So it, that cuts down on the time that, it's, that it takes to grow, usually. Yeah, it's not irrigated. That's why it's taking longer. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for the apology, Brush. Appreciate it. Just, you know, beha behave, abide by the rules of the chat, be chill, and you'll... Everything will work out just fine. People who scrapbook take photos and go print them at a place so they can make scrapbooks. And the cycle repeats ad infinitum. Ad infinitum? I've heard it pronounced infinitum. Well, actually, I, I think I'm the only one that I've ever heard pronounced it infinitum. And everything, every other time I've heard it, it's infinitum. But infinitum sounds wrong to my brain. Is there a correct answer? Maybe. Ooh, we got five gold quality weed out of that one, though. Infinitum, infinitum, who cares? I'm, I'm infiniting all this wheat in my bag right now. We're slightly ahead of the curve now. Swipe slightly ahead. You say infinitum? That's what that's what I always say. That's what sounds the most correct to my ear. But oh, I guess I should probably replant. Yeah, you know, I'm <laughs> that's I'm not used to having to replant. My bad. My bad. It depends on if it's infinity or finite with the term. Wait, are there two versions of infinitum? This I did not know. Okay. 50 more wheat in the ground. Let's run it back. Four more days. We are growing a little bit of taro, Colleen. Also, welcome on in. Growing a little bit of taro. We're also growing a little bit of pineapple and a little bit of wheat. For reasons, for reasons, for future proofing, for current optimizations, there's just, there's a lot to unpack there. Just finished making your vision board for school. Ooh, that's fun. I've never made a vision board, but I feel like I probably would benefit from one, honestly. I feel like it would be a good way to help me organize my thoughts. Because I'm bad about that. Susan Edgecombe, welcome on in. Good to see you. 
Infiniting. Infiniting sounds like the newest game from Zactronics. Where you have to, you know, you have to crochet as many blankets as possible, but it makes but it's made insanely convoluted because like the actual mechanics of the game mimic reality so well that it's it, that any even menial task becomes extremely difficult. Have a good one there, Oceana. Rat baby, welcome on in. My vacation was very good, thank you. Always good to spend time with the fam. I don't get out to see my grandma all that often, so it was it was good to see her for, for the first time in quite a while. Oh. Sneaky tree here. Okay. More and more each day, my resolve wanes, and I want to just craft as many brick floors as I can and just pave the entire farm with them <laughs> so that I don't have to worry about trees ever again. But I know that, number one, it would take a very long time. Number two, I mean, it wouldn't take that long. We actually have 214 floors here. I don't know how many floors we would need to pave the entire farm, but... Maybe it's worth it. Do it because we gotta get some island stuff going. I'm willing to leave it for now, but I don't know how much longer I'm willing to leave it. I feel like the time it's taking up to, like, chop down seeds and saplings and so on is, you know, it would, it would be outweighed by the amount of time it would just, it would take to just make all the brick flooring and and pave the farm. Aesthetically, I have to admit, it would probably not be the best thing in the world, but I don't know. Hashtag pave the farm. I don't know if that's going to be a movement that gets much traction on Twitter, but <laughs> I already had to leave the game running for 24 hours, is your point? That's, tr that's true, but I mean, paving the farm is not going to change anything about that. Uh, is today heyday? No, today is not heyday. It's the 14th. I was just looking at it and seeing, like, multiple of four-day, but no, it's actually, like, it's, like, 6, 10, 14, 18, so on and so forth. You see that rainbow shell by my house? It has not escaped my notice either, honestly. All right, I think we ran out of fall seeds, so let's just quickly pop these in there so we have something growing in the garden pot. Better have something than nothing. Ah, boom. Am I streaming until we finish the quest, or will I leave Sardew open for three days? Well, here's the thing. I actually have to work later today. Like, I work in... I have to go to work in about two and a half hours, right? So I can't... If, if we don't get the quest before then... Then I have to make that decision. Am I going to leave Stardew open all weekend, or are we going to, are we going to like redo the ginger grind? And I feel like I'll probably just redo the ginger grind because I don't want to leave it open all weekend long. I, I usually like to turn off my computer like overnight. And obviously, I can't do that. If that's the case, I don't think it would be that detrimental. But I also, here's the thing. I also have to edit this fishing video, and sometimes at the editing process of the fishing video involves me going into Stardew Valley and, like, getting footage or getting, like, little sprites or that I have to rip out or something like that. So I can't, and I can't do that if the game is already open and I'm and I'm locked into this farm. So it's it's a bit, it, it's I think I'm I might have to make an executive decision and just you know not leave it on all weekend if it comes to that but i'm just gonna hope that you know caroline will, will give us what we need in the next little bit here and now then we'd be just so happy so happy 
Yeah, plus the ginger line should the ginger grind, pardon me, should not take that long to redo, you're right. You never turn off your computer unless you're packing it up to go in the car. I used to be of that mind, like on my old computer, I I basically never turned it off. And I feel like it was not good for it. I don't know. Maybe it's just my own anecdotal evidence. Maybe there were other factors at play. Who knows? But I feel like, you know, the longer I left it on, I start, I did start noticing, like, problems that would arise with it for leaving it on for extremely long amounts of time that would then fix themselves when I reset it, at least for a short while. So I feel like for, like, the lifespan of the computer, it's not great. But like I said, take that with a grain of salt because... I don't really know what I'm talking about at the end of the day. I can only say from my own personal experience. What the heck? <laughs> I think that was lightning striking a brick path somewhere. Probably have to get more used to that if I do decide to pave the farm. At any rate... Pies over here dreaming of new clothing. Oh wait, today was supposed to be today was supposed to be our harvest day. Shoot. Okay, but it got rained out because of the rain. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. So we get we get a harvest today. Okay, it didn't it didn't rain an extra day, so that's good. It did push our harvest schedule off by one day. Does that mess us up? that bad is the question we'll still have what we still have the 19th now the 19th the 23rd and the 27th we have three more harvests i think we're still fine i don't think we lost a harvest we'll lose a harvest if we if that happens twice more so as long as we don't have two more harvest days rained out we should be fine we're still on schedule for to complete this quest okay so, fingers crossed the rain decides to stay away and come back again another day. It would be really cool if Pi could wear a hat. 1.6 update, be like, your pets can now wear hats. I'd be here for it. But, you know, while I wait for the Junimos to harvest the, the wheat, I guess I might as well go check the special orders board, right? Thought we couldn't do terror roots, or is this something else? We can't ship terror roots for the island ingredients quest. That's correct, but I still want terror roots for the future of my farm, because I'll need, I'll need them for recipes and shipping and stuff. Junimos go whoosh. All right. Please show me the good island ingredients. 100, 100 pieces of ginger! Wait! Wait! I wasn't ready! No, that's actually... Okay, okay. We got a live one, folks. We got a live one. Hold on a minute. I want to experiment with tropical cooking, but it's hard to find any ingredients. If someone could ship 100 pieces of ginger, it might help. Okay. Now is the scary part. Now this is the scary part. Accept quest. Will this actually work? Harvest 100 ginger, ship 100 ginger. It's going to be the moment of truth. We're about to head to Ginger Island. I'm so I'm actually a little scared. Now now that I'm confronted with the reality of this situation, I'm a little nervous to see whether this is actually going to work. Everything in my brain, all my experience with the mechanics of how Stardew Valley tracks this stuff tells me that this should work that leaving ginger on the ground that I harvested previously and picking it up now should count for this quest. But if it doesn't, then we're a little bit, <laughs> we're a little bit, we're freaking out a little bit at that point. Fingers crossed. Let's, let's just go. Just go pick up some ginger and just check. Please. Fi oh my gosh. <laughs> Chad, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real. That, that quest felt like a, like it was a white whale or something that I, I would just never, ever see it. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're living in this new reality. All right, please. We just picked up six ginger. It's chat. We got him. 
We got this. All right. So as long as all the ginger is still there, as long as it's all still there, I can't see why some of it would despawn and some of it wouldn't. This should be, this should be job done. This should be easy as this. And as long as we counted correctly and have like all the ginger of our dreams, this is a lot of ginger. Holy. I think there was a big stockpile of it right down here somewhere. Yas. How much did we have? We, we picked like 101 ginger, right? We picked 101 ginger. I mean, there is extra ginger still growing here, so we can actually get more if we need it. It's not the end of the world. 110. Oh, we did We did get some extra after the fact. Yeah, you're right. Dalmatian ginger. Yeah, there's plenty in the ground today, which is always a good sign, too. Airline isn't going to know what hit her. She's going to wake up tomorrow to <laughs> this massive... Stockpile of ginger. 23. We have 98 ginger, and I know for a fact there's more over here. There it is. Perfect. We've done it. You know, I'm going to grab all the rest of this ginger, because why wouldn't I, right? <laughs> Thank you for your service. It paid off in the end to leave all that, uh, to, to leave the game on. And I'll be able to, now I'll be able to turn it off without worry, which is even better. 110 ginger. Boom. Now all we have to do is ship it. Ginger successfully harvested. Harvested, quote unquote. Get the artifact spots too. All right, if you twist my arm. I guess I'll... I'm just so folk... I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Because we get... I mean, we don't even have to worry about Pierre's Prime Produce anymore in theory. We're already on track to do it, so we might as well at this point. But the fact that we don't have to, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It is a... Weight off my shoulders. All right. We do for the other one-time goals. That's true, actually. Yeah, you know what? That helps. It'll help for future special orders that we might need to get in this same vein. That said, I feel like island ingredients, unless I'm misremembering what quests are we still need to do for the uh, special orders board, I feel like island ingredients was probably like the most annoying one for us to do because we only had like a one third chance of getting the actual incarnation of it that we needed. Shipping list, just to verify. We have shipped ginger in the past. That was a previous goal. Boom, shipped. 110. I'm shipping 110 because I don't care. I, I do actually have a lot of spare ginger at home anyway, so it's not a big deal. 111 shipped ginger. Get some 111s in chat. 111, our lucky number for ginger. The ginger constant, if you will. Never forget. Never forget where you were when we got our 111 ginger. I told you, once we got that quest, like, once once the quest showed up, <laughs> look at how fast that happened. The quest is already done. I mean, technically, technically not until tomorrow, I guess. That's fair, but that's kind of, that's kind of wild, just how fast all those dominoes fell. That was, that was cool, I agree. That was a cool way of doing that quest. Of, of, like, leaving all the ginger on the ground like that and then just waiting for it to happen. That's that's actually something you could do in the future, even outside, like, the parameters of this challenge. I guess it wouldn't... I mean, if you got the Island Ingredients quest and you just didn't get ginger, then you'd be... It wouldn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but still. <laughs> Alright. And the tarot has all been picked. you love to see that. Uh, I'm just going to leave the tarot here for now, actually, because it is, um, my, my fridge is kind of full. Wait, that was a lot of, that was a lot of wheat, right? I, I didn't even, I didn't even process that. Oh, also a pineapple. Pineapple. I'm going to swap this out real quick, just so I can put all the tarot in one spot here. That's almost like double the amount of gold quality wheat that you expect to get. That's kind of big. All right, I'm going to get these mixed seeds out of here because I want to also grab the ancient fruit there. Are we done? We still have to craft the solar panel. <laughs> Lest we forget. 
Oh, no, oh, you're talking about Pierre's Prime Produce. Okay. No, we're not done that yet. We still need... We need more than that. We need what? Yeah, we need six more. Okay. We still have to get the recipe and then subsequently craft the solar panel and replant our wheat. You know what? Valid. This is valid. There is now extra space to plant more wheat, but I don't have the quality fertilizer to subsidize that, so there's not much of a point in planting it on those other spots. I suppose I could plant something else there, but I'm lazy. Alright. Boom. Perfect. Two more harvests to go. We might not need to use any of our farming buffs at all if we get real lucky here. We, we, we would need to get a little bit luckier than average to get six from one harvest, but we did just get seven from one harvest. Planting taro. I have a few empty spots. I guess I could plant the taro. The taro. Just for just to have something in the ground there. Um. All right. Need I need to clear out this inventory before anything else though. Hold up. Let me sort out my inventory. This backpack upgrade cannot come soon enough. Calling it now. Next goal. Backpack upgrade. Could you imagine? Also, shirt. We can get a shirt to celebrate. Yeah, why not? Reaper harvest is less than the 8% needed, so we should be good. I mean, unless our really good luck on this harvest of getting 7 and 1 is offset by really bad luck in a future harvest of getting, like, 1. But, who knows? <laughs> Alright, I shall go... I shall go and plant these tubers. Any tubers in chat? Sweet gem berries, a shipping collection thing. We already grew the sweet gem berries that we need, right? Do we have two sweet gem berries or do we only have one? Not that we can worry about it right now in, in summer anyway, but. All right, get these spots tilled as well, because We can reset now. I mean, we can't reset today, but once we lock in today, then yes, we are officially free to reset, which is actually pretty hype. Reset strats are now officially back on, on the docket. Everyone get your, get your digital bibs on. We're getting ready for a nice helping of resets. Well, probably not. I don't know if we're going to need to reset anything in the near future here, but... <laughs> At least we can! And can, and in principle, we should sometimes. Three hour stream, let's go. Amber Fullerton, welcome on in. How late are you? I mean, we just finished the island ingredients quest. You haven't missed the actual moment of completion of the goal, so you're still you're still here in good time. Rogue animals. Trying to get trying to get me to pet them so that I have to reset this day and all this hard work goes out the window. Water the tubers. But they're so far away now. Could you imagine if I accidentally pet, like, a rabbit or something? And then had to, like, reset the day, lose all the ginger, had to do the quest normally with only 14 days? <laughs> oh, that'd be, that'd be awful. Sleep and lock it in. But my shirt. I need this purple crop top. Is it a crop top? Look at that. That's kind of nice, actually. It's not... It's not... It doesn't necessarily not fit our outfit. I feel like you could still get a better outfit for it. But I do like me some purple. Purple is kind of Chloe's color. Chloe likes the purple and the green. But Beatrix can rock it too. Go to sleep and forget the watering. I couldn't live with myself if I, if I forgot the watering. Would it mean that the harvest is only offset by one day and we'd still harvest the same amount of terror regardless? Yes, but... But... It's the principle of it. Purple crop top with the genie pants. I'm picturing it. I'm liking it. I'm thinking there. I'm thinking there's something to it. Alright. It's literally only three spots of taro here. There we go. It's all successfully watered now. 
The dragon boots. Ooh, the dragon boots plus the purple crop top. Yo, we're, we're cooking now. We're cooking? Quick little outfit change to celebrate, maybe? Let's go... Let's give it a whirl. You know what? People are saying... What, what, what's, what's the possible outfit here? Purple shirt. Genie pants. Dragon scale boots. How do we... How's this fit? Rate that fit? Chat, rate the fit? Scale of 0 to 100. Rate the fit. Different hat. You know what? Different hat. Different hat. Different hat. Pink bow, dark cowboy hat, cone hat, cow gal hat. Tiara? Tiara or cow gal? Ti Tiara kind of fits nicely, actually. Or, or sorry, not cow gal hat fits nicely. I'll try Tiara. Feeling the turban? Oh my gosh, the Tiara! Wait! Wait, she's a magical anime girl now! <laughs> I don't know, why does that give me that vibe just like instantly when I put that on? <laughs> That's so good! But the Tiara looks so good! Princess Jasmine. Oh, I see some people talking about talking up the Tropa Clip. We'll give the Tropa Clip a, a quick moment here. Actually, Tropa Clip is not bad either. That actually matches the pants pretty okay. Tropa Clip and Tiara are 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 both this it's much it's much more understated for sure. Old Princess Jasmine. I think we should I think we should go with the Tropa Clip. Because we've we've already done the tiara for a little while. I think I think they're both good, and I feel like the fact that they're both good is is reason enough for me to just say, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm locking it in. We're going Tropiclip. Casual Jasmine. Yo, she's rocking it. Look at that. New summer fit just dropped. I think this is more of a summer outfit. It's definitely better. It's more summery than the first one we had. Yo, we've never... I never even... I don't know if we've ever changed, like, our outfit this much in, in one stream before. That's the power of Sandy and her shirts, I suppose. All right. Officially locking it in now. 110 ginger. Shipped. That's the sound of a quest complete. That's what you love to hear. Ooh, 6,600 golders, too. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> It has now been saved. Island ingredients. Three thousand dollars on top of that. And do we get the recipe today as well, or do we have to wait an extra day? Solar panel. Lewis told me that you've been shipping a lot of ingredients from the island. It's great to have access to new produce. It really opens up a whole new world of culinary possibilities, like gingerbread. I'm including a gift for you, some blueprints you might find useful. Who knows where she got these, and honestly, who cares? <laughs> All right. Solar panel. Never did I ever think I would be crafting a solar panel this early. We need five iron bars, five gold bars, and ten refined quartz. How much of that do we already have? I probably should have, you know, prepared some of this beforehand, but it's okay. All right. We have, we have enough iron to smelt. We have... We do have enough gold to smell because there's only five per. Yeah, that's okay. Um, and we got we got fire quartz to smell. We have everything we need to smelt, so we just need to actually smelt it. So let's just let's start with the iron. Do I have any? I don't I don't have any pre-existing iron bars. And yeah, we basically just gotta sit and wait at this point. Boom. We could honestly just sit and wait by the furnace, or we could sleep through the days. I kind of feel, honestly, more like sitting and waiting. Is that weird that I want to sit and wait instead of, like, sleeping and, and making the days go by? I don't know. <laughs> I should probably sleep and wait to make the days go by just for the quest that we're doing for, for Pierre's Prime Produce and that sort of thing. 
sit and wait is for copper. Let's sit. We could, I mean, we've been on the go doing a lot of, a lot of things for the past little while. This ginger fiasco put a lot of stress on us. I feel like maybe we've, we owe it to ourselves to sit around and wait for a little bit. <laughs> Do stuff is for iron. Sleep is for gold. I, li I like those, uh, those hard and fast rules, Lisa. It's actually, I mean, it, it fits, honestly. Time for Pierre wallpaper catalog while we wait. What am I made of money? I only have five million dollars. I can't, I can't just blow money all willy nilly like that. Brick the floor while I wait. I could, I could start paving the farm. That is a possibility. Honestly, I'm just gonna, for, for the moment, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy a little hydration break as soon as I swap this out, obviously. Boom. I can move the furnace outside. I could move the furnace outside, and honestly, I probably should. Alright, if the people want to see it, we have 214 brick floors. How far can we get with 214 brick floors? I think, I think the time to pave the farm has finally come. I think this is, I think we should do this. Do we just, should we just start at the top and work our way down? Just like start like way up here and just like, and just, and just go line by line, row by row. Do we have a recycling machine? We do not, I don't think. You say go to the middle first? Maybe we should do, like, this middle section here that's, like, jam-packed full of trees. That's probably... that's probably smarter, yeah. Okay, I am gonna probably grab the furnace and move that out in a second, though. You go, like, under the mushroom cave area? I think either of those areas is probably pretty... a pretty good place to start. Level 1 mining upgrade, please. All right, this is going to be done in a moment, so let's just get ready to move the furnace outside. Any second now. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be... No there we go. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm just going to put this... Put this, like, right here for now. That's fine. Beauty. Yeah, let's do like this section just like south of the of like this fish pond for right now. Fill in this little area here. I think I'm this is this is like the largest contiguous area of trees that we currently have, I think. So I feel like using the current the brick floors that we currently have for this spot is probably gonna save us a good amount of time overall. I got a lot of wheat. I yeah, I got pretty lucky, Alexion. We got like we got seven from our last harvest, which was kind of bonkers. It's not a word I thought I would use in in usual in typical vocabulary, but here we are, and here we are. Not it's not a word I would use, and also this is not a song I would listen to in my typical song listening reg regimen. Just kidding! It's the only song I listen to. B boss, we hadn't heard it all stream. It was bound to show up eventually here. Get your B emojis in chat. It's a it's a B boss victory lap. The bees are here to celebrate the solar panel on the horizon. Heck yeah. Solar panel celebration time. Get some solar bees in chat. The bees out here lounging in the sun. Appreciating the solar panels more than anybody else. While well, I Pave the farm. <laughs> There's something strangely dystopian about listening to a song that celebrates bees and seeing all these bees in chat, bees and sun, and it's all a big celebration of nature in the middle of while we pave our entire farm over <laughs> so that the trees can no longer spread. Look, look, it's not because I hate the environment. Quite the opposite. I'm I'm pretty pro environment. I don't know if that's uh that's a hot take or not. I think the environment's pretty important. 
but in this particular case, in this, I'm sorry to the bees who might be enjoying this, the spreading of all these trees around. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is, this is for the greater good, I promise. Holy moly. All right, um, the iron must have finished up at some point here, right? Yeah. Boom. We got 102 left. I guess I'll finish, I might, might as well finish this area right around the fish pond here. Wait, did I, did I harvest row? No, I did my inventory is too full to harvest the row, and there's no row to be harvested either, so, all right, so we're good. I, w I was worried that because I was like clicking around this fish pond that I would accidentally harvest that, but there's not even any there to harvest, so. We're chilling. We're chilling. Uh, is that a spot there? I think that is. I just have to yeet that. There we go. Let's start doing this area a little bit. We're not going to have enough to fill out this entire, like, all the areas that we want to, but if we can get a sizable portion of it, then I'll be pretty happy. I'm not going to go to my way to make any more brick flooring just yet. Maybe we'll save that for a future stream. But we might as well use the stuff that we have backlogged here. Even, even this small portion of the farm being paved over should save us a decent amount of time going forward here. yeah this is th these are like the main areas where we were chopping che chopping seeds to begin with all right and that's it brick floors have all been used to good effect i would say let's go ahead and grab that i'm gonna bring this back inside i'll fix that in a second my inventory is a little bit full there are seeds back there that's true i should i should go and chop those but i'm gonna bring this back in because i'm gonna be going to bed soon anyway Mind the spam, please, brush. Appreciate it. That would be a fun exercise to figure out. Looks like I made a parking lot out of the farm Joja style. Jojo would be so proud. We did, we did in fact, pave paradise and put up a parking lot. You're telling me that that song was not instructions? What a what a world we live in. I also didn't hit this spot, which is kind of kind of bugging me, but <laughs> it is what it is. We did, some, did have some seeds over here, right? Some sneaky seeds. The more the more we can pave the farm, the fewer spots we'll have to check in the future for seeds, which is very nice. You would totally spend time figuring out every place where you should put a cherry bomb to op optimally get rid of those trees. I mean, Alexion, if you, if, you, if you feel up to the task, I can send you a screenshot. I can send you the most recent daily screenshot of the farm, and you can give me target spots to knock out trees. That could be kind, that could be kind of a fun endeavor. All right, Brush. I, I mean, I warned you about the, about the spam. Second, second, second timeout. Two timeouts in one stream is not uh, not common around here, but you're spamming an awful lot. I'm I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, but you know. Definitely some spots you can see already. Yeah, we could definitely, if we were clever about it, if we were smart enough about it. We are, we have our five iron here. Now we need five gold, right? Is that correct? There we go. We need five gold bars, five iron bars, and then ten refined quartz. Fire quartz is fast. Yeah, but we're about to go to sleep pretty soon anyway, so... I think we're pretty much done for today, right? Like, we've chopped a lot of trees. We're I think we're good to go. Lock it in. Boom. Brush made a 9-11 emoji reference a while ago. I did not catch that one. Thank you, Annika. If that is if that is true, then that is... I missed that, and I apologize, because that is not okay at all. 
Jeez. All right. Um. Let's not focus on that though. Let's instead focus on Pi. <laughs> Because Pi being very cute. The one thing I will say that I like about the about the rain these days, sometimes it rains at our harvest days, sure, and that's not great, but at least it brings Pi inside so we can bask in bask in his glory. No worries, Lisa. It's just, you know. Chat's usually pretty good around here. Every so often, this is I mean, every so often you'll get someone who pops in that is uh obviously does not quite understand the community that we have going on here 99.9% .9 of the ch time ever people are chill in this in this chat in this community but i mean at the end of the day it is the internet so <laughs> you can't always uh can't always avoid people who just want to come in and call and stir up trouble and try and get attention in whatever way they can so And if I see if I if I had seen that, then that would have been you know on site. That's that's for sure. I would not have let uh, let brush keep going that way. Our community is the bestest. Can we get some love for in love heart emojis, argon love, whatever you got for the community at large? Best community on YouTube, bar none. We don't talk. We don't tolerate. Anything less than the nicest, wholesomest vibes that we can possibly muster around here. Because you go around the internet, a lot of other places, there's there's drama and and politics and hate and stuff abound. We're not about that lifestyle here. We're not about that. We're not about making horrible jokes or, or anything to that effect. Look at all this love in chat. This, this amazing outpouring of love. Y'all are the best. I take no credit for how amazing this community is. I'm just glad that I'm able to help foster it in whatever way that I can. At the end of the day, it's all you guys. Thank you for all being so, so cool. Now, I do want those Omni Geodes. One of these days, I promise you I'm going to do something with all these Omni Geodes I've been collecting. But it's like, you know, <laughs> wait, I guess we could save we could save up for if we're really going hard into the fashion, we haven't been using Omni Geodes for much else. We can save up to eventually get the like the prismatic cowboy hat, which is what, like 333 Omni Geodes might be a little far away, but not that far, probably. We dislike horrible offensive jokes, but we like horrible dad joke level jokes. Exactly. Exactly. You can get along, you can get pr go pretty far around here if you, like, buy a, buy a book of, like, 1,001 best dad jokes and just start <laughs> typing them in chat. I mean, maybe not, you know, one after the other after the other. That would probably get stale after a while. But if you sprinkle them in every now and again, you're going to go places. All right. I think we're good for the day, right? Lock it in. Little bit of screenshot of a random farm, and you can't you can't see rocks behind some trees. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, with the screenshot, it wouldn't actually work out right because you wouldn't be able to see all the rocks around. But one day, one day we will probably go on a bombing run and just like clear out a bunch of the trees. Small price to pay for best hat. Have I ever had the? Did we did we get the the prismatic like cowboy hat or anything like that in the price of perfection? I honestly don't remember. I feel like I've never rocked that hat. Is it Junimo Harvest Day again? It would have been, but we one of them got rained out, so I think it got pushed back to the 19th here, right? Unfortunately, so I think tomorrow is our Junimo Harvest Day. Yeah, I guess I would would have been hearing the Junimo's Harvest by now if I. If it were. Or we'll get a foraging level next. That would also be, you know, that's that's probably the easiest possible solution to this problem. <laughs> if the game could just, you know, give us a foraging level and let us chop down some trees. 
I'm not saying that it would solve like a whole lot of problems and make our life a lot easier, but I'm not not saying that either. All right, off to bed one more time. Pog, our Junimos did not get rained out. And we got our third gold bar. Fire quartz smelts like really fast, right? Like it's like it's like copper levels of fast smelting. So once we once we get our gold done, we should be able to smelt it all really fast and craft the solar panel like that day. 90 minutes? That's not bad at all. That's 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 easy enough to wait out. I think I would rather wait that out than like sleep the extra in game days. Just because I'm so antsy to get this solar panel. I mean, I guess technically on a, like a real time scale, it would be faster to just sleep the days away. But I want to make these days actually count as well. Didn't know you could smell fire quartz. Today I learned. It's not something you have you do all that often because honestly, I think most people get their refined quartz from recycling machines. I think that's by, like far and away the the fastest way to get it a lot of the time. And I mean, you don't need a lot of refined quartz. On average, or maybe you do. If you're playing, if you're playing Stardew casually, do you actually need a lot of refined quartz for like certain machines that I'm not thinking of? Recycling and crab pots do the trick. It's a Junimo stack. Chat, look, look at this Junimo stack. Wait, what are they doing? Yo, it's a Junimo singularity. Wait, join? No, no. Okay, I thought they were all gonna join. Wait, they did join back together. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> They're T-posing. T-posing Junimos. Look at them. They're all stacked. They're just like dancing. What's going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> They're just in love with this log, dude. There's something about this log. They're vibing. I'm not going to harsh their vibe. That's for darn sure. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. We only got three gold quality hay that day. Um, I'm probably willing to invest the complete breakfast on our next harvest on the 23rd just to guarantee us getting, or more or less guarantee probably, us getting the, uh, the remaining ones that we need. But who knows, we might, we might not even be worrying about that. We might not even be, we'll be focused on whatever our next goal is by that point probably. It'll be just like a foregone conclusion. Arus B, welcome on in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, blackberries. I think I already have some in the fridge, don't I? Yeah. Beautiful. We need you to move so we can plant little Junimos. Oh, yeah. I forgot to replant my wheat, actually. <laughs> Whoopsie. Look, what do you take me for? Like, a farmer? Chat, I don't farm in this game. I don't farm, okay? That's not, like, a thing I do. I know a lot of people play Stardew Valley for some reason because you can, like, farm in this game and you can, like, plant crops and it's very, like, soothing or whatever. We're not about that lifestyle around here. We, we let the Junimos worry about that. In the meantime, I just sleep and grab Ginger off the floor. <laughs> Watch the next goal be shift tarot. I wouldn't put it past the randomizer to pull some kind of prank like that. You just got tarot. Send this to your friends to totally tarot root them. Do more grinding than farming. We do a little grinding around here, that's for darn sure. Alright, I need to water the garden pot. Sure. You know what, maybe... I don't know how long it takes for gold to smelt. But maybe... Oh, you know what? Perfect timing. I was just about to say, if we if we go and get Sandy's shirt today, and maybe I'll give the gold enough time to finish smelting, and then we'll be done smelting by, t by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. That's perfect. All right. Good to go. Speak of the devil. They say a watched furnace never smelts. I beg to differ. Rare seeds for sale? That's nice. I'm going to take this stan this tan-striped shirt. I almost said this stan-typed shirt. <laughs> stan-typed all over this shirt. It's my favorite shirt. A tan shirt with a white stripe going through the middle of it. 
Is that a white stripe? I would personally classify that as a pale green stripe, but maybe I'm going colorblind. How do I retrieve banana? Exclamation point right click. Right click and, and retrieve banana to your heart's content. Me on the regular day when I fuck, honey. Alright, that's not where that goes. Oops. This tan striped shirt. I have a feeling that that's one's, that one's gonna be... That one's gonna come back. Alright. Um, I'm gonna grab the fire quartz. We only need to smelt, what, three fire quartz? Because we already have one refined quartz. I think each of these gives three. If I'm not mistaken. Let's, uh, let's sleep. And craft a solar panel tomorrow? Question mark? I'm, uh, craft a solar panel on a thunderstormy day. I can't think of a better, a better use of my time here. Let's do it. I'm just going to stand here with my fire quartz. Actually, I guess I'll pop outside for a quick screenshot. And then I'll just stand there with my fire quartz after that. I see you, Rainbow Shell. Just taunting me. If we get a forging level up as our next goal, we can actually untaunt that Rainbow Shell. Bring it into our home. That'll be good for, for dying, if nothing else. Did we get the quest? We did, Megan. We It happened so fast. Like, the instant we got the quest, it was like five minutes later we were done the quest. <laughs> and now we're just getting the materials to craft the solar panel. It's kind of wild how fast it moved. It was like opening a door. It's like, I wonder if it's like windy outside today. You open a door, and then your hat gets blown off your head. You fall backwards. As a bunch of leaves like blow into your house, it was just like it was just like an overwhelming sensory overload. I was like, "Oh man, quest quest is here! Wait, I have a hundred ginger. Wait, I'm done. Wait, I almost have all the ingredients for the solar panel now." Holy moly! That happened to your mom in the tornado. She opened the door, and there was a tornado there. That's scary. Hurricane. That's even worse. Oh my goodness. Two cars crashed into each other right out front of our house. Everybody seems to be okay. Ambulance and police are called. Still shaking from the big crashing noise. That is very scary. I hope you're I hope everything turns out alright, Annika, for, for you obviously and for the, the people who were in the accident. I know where you're coming from from that though. I have I have borne witness to a to a rather large car crash in my time, and it's uh when it happens, it feels like it's not even, like, a real thing that's happening. It's, like, a, it's such a traumatic, like, thing. Even if you're not part of the actual accident itself, if you're just a bystander watching it, it can be, like, very scary. That happened to me when I was, like, I was walking to school one day. I was, like, like probably in, like, 10th grade or something like that. And I was, like, walking to school. I was standing on the corner waiting for, like, the, like, the little walk light to change. And, uh, and a, like, semi-truck came, like, barreling down this hill, its horn blaring. I learned, found out later that its, like, brakes had failed, and it, like, it, like, T-boned, like, a, like, a pickup truck that was, like, going through the intersection at just the perfectly wrong time, and it was, like, right in front of me. It was probably, it was probably, like, like, 50 feet away from me. It was, uh, it was, it was a very scary moment for sure. So yeah, that was a, you know, there's your daily dose of, <laughs> of, of, of that for the day. Also, Brush, I see you are back from time out, but with the newfound knowledge of the jokes you were making before, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I think this is the option right here. Thank you for thank you for coming into chat, but we don't tolerate the kind of jokes you were making before, so 
Appreciate it. All right. Glad they seemed okay. Yeah, it's, it is a very loud sound. Like, you don't even realize until you've seen something like that. Anyway. All the all the scary and serious and and uh talk and stuff aside, Brush did get banned, yes, because they made a very a joke and very poor taste earlier that I didn't see that was called to my attention, and so once it came back from timeouts, that's it. I'm not that, no tolerance for that sort of thing. But we're not here to worry about that. We're not here here to worry about any of that. We're here for one purpose only. Chat, are you ready? Look at this. It's so beautiful and blue. Wait, when did the solar panel become so beautiful? I didn't realize. This is like such an aesthetic marvel. Look at this thing. Slowly generates batteries when left in the sun. Give it to me. Solar panel has been officially crafted. Hype check. New goal check. I don't even have the randomizer open, I don't think, because I, w I wasn't anticipating getting this done. I didn't know how long this quest was going to take to show up. We should go put this somewhere in a, in a place of glory. I don't even know where, but... I know you normally put solar panels in the desert. Put it inside. Honestly, I kind of feel like putting it inside. I feel like it's, it's kind of a nice, just like, little decorative reminder of how far we've come. Spouse spot. New table, who dis? Just make my all my tables out of solar panels. Can it does it fit right here? I kinda like that. Right next to the fridge. We have a solar powered fridge now. Ooh, saving money that way. I'm here for it. Not I mean we'd have to build a skylight into our house, I guess, for that to really work. But batteries though, I mean I think we're alright for batteries for the foreseeable future. I might change my tune, like, later in the challenge, but later in the challenge we'll probably also be able to craft a lot more solar panels a lot quicker, so. <laughs> it's an art piece, exactly. Well, whether you like the solar panel there or not, <laughs> whether we whether we decide to put it inside or outside, you know, we can, we can always change that in the future. But for now, we got bigger fish to fry. Let me bring you on over here while I load up the randomizer, because, like, what the heck? We can get a new goal right now? My randomizer? Honestly, if, like, to be perfectly honest with you, I thought this goal was going to take considerably longer. I thought getting that island ingredients quest was going to be a very long, drawn-out process, and it was to a certain extent, but it wasn't nearly as long and drawn-out as I thought it would be. It was what, like... A stream and a half. Well, I guess it was it was basically the bulk of this stream, so probably like two to two total streams, which is like what seven eight hours. To the average player, that might sound like a lot, but to us, you know, that's just a drop in the bucket, baby. All right, let me get it going here. Hit this. All right, perfect. Craft a solar panel has officially been completed. That's one more very long and harrowing goal that we don't have to worry about ever showing up ever again. 41, 7.3%. Here we go. Can we possibly, for the first time in so long, get a level up a goal? Any level. I don't even care if it's a useful one. Just give me something, please. I, I don't know what this is going to be. I don't even know what to say anymore. I've said it all. Over the past, like, 41 goals, I've said it every which way possible. I see everyone in chat, literally every person in chat, is clamoring for some kind of a level. <laughs> Any quality of life. Honestly, a tool upgrade, yeah. Tool upgrade, backpack upgrade, level up. There are so many great options. And the odds are honestly in our favor. Well, not entirely in our favor, but there's, like, you know, probably close to, like, a 20% chance that we could get a goal that... Fits that description. 20%. And considering how many goals we've rolled without it, I think we're long overdue. So enough stretching this out. I'm ready for a new goal. Three and two and one generate. Craft a weathered floor. I can do that. 
You know, I can do that. We can play, we can do this dance all day, randomizer. We can do this dance all day. That's at least something, you know, we can vary up our, uh, our padding a little bit. Yo, that's actually kind of hype because that means that we don't have to do brick flooring for our entire farm. I feel like weathered flooring is probably easier to craft, right? Also, hold on, hold on. Got to scroll back up. Thank you to June. Welcome on in, June. Good to see you. Being remembered for 17 months at the Neutron level. I'm emerging from my long hiatus just to manifest this level up goal. I greatly appreciate you manifesting it. Unfortunately, at least this one. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's it'll be slow to manifest, but good to see you. Welcome on back in. Refloor the house. We definitely could. Is this the ho Oh, this is the homie floor. You're right. Get some homies in chat. All right, let me pop you back over here for the moment. Now, the question is, have I already purchased this recipe? Weathered floor. Weathered floor, one wood. Goal done. Next. <laughs> oh, there you go. Perfect. Goal complete. Yay, Pog. <laughs> I didn't even get rid of the solar panel thing in the top left here before I did that. That's so good. Or unpin Nightbot's message or anything like that. Oh my. I didn't even update Nightbot at all. Perfect. There you go. Two goals in one day. That's just that's just the on the whims of the randomizer are so unpredictable. That's so funny. <laughs> one weathered floor. And the, I mean we can craft a lot more weathered floors where that came from. We, I mean, I, I, I owe it to myself to craft a, a little bit more here. We can get another, another face, maybe. Hold on a second. I can't just like breeze past weathered floor quite that quickly. We gotta give every goal its chance to shine here, and I'm sure the weathered floor will honestly have its chance to shine. But for now, welcome to the party. <laughs> you can't escape the face no matter where you go. Eyebrows? That would have been kind of fun, too. Maybe a smiling face this time? He is smiling. Is this not how you smile? I am a Norman human being, human being smiling with happy emotions. Anyway. <laughs> let me let me grab my pen and paper as well. I'm not going to be able to keep the stream going that much longer, to be honest. Like I said, I do have to work in about an hour and a half here. And I would like to eat before then, so I, <laughs> I want to make sure I leave myself some time. But, we can keep it going for a little while here, depending on what goals and stuff we get. Weathered floor. Perfect. And I guess I'll just wait to update Nightbot until I actually roll the new goal here. If you pretend the planks are teeth, wait, can I see it? Oh, I can see it. Look, the planks are teeth. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a face going like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Oh, my gosh. All right. Don't overdo it. I won't, but also, new goal, who dis? Get me back to the randomizer here. All right, craft a weathered floor. Ooh, that was a tough one. I didn't know if we'd, if we'd make it, but we got there in the end, 7.4%. And we have a new chance once again. Will we be able to manifest a level up of any kind? I'm starting to think this randomizer is, is weighted in some way or another. There's only one way to find out. Roll it. What the heck, dude? <laughs> What? Um. <laughs> I'm dying, dude. I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't know what that... That's like the Walter White laugh when he's like under the floorboards. Oh my gosh. 
I just can't believe the incredulousness of this. I have to beat freaking Junimo Kart. It's not even going to be that hard, probably. But I have to beat Junimo Kart before I can level up, like, anything. <laughs> Who made this? Oh, I made it. You're right. Oh, gosh. Not even needed for perfection. Just one of our extra little goals. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well... On that note, I think that's probably where I am going to end stream off because I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Junimo Kart. Well, I, I, I mean, maybe if I got, you know, got a good run going early on, I could probably beat Junimo Kart on just this, on, in this stream. But, oh, I need to mentally recover from that one, honestly. Mentally recover and prepare myself for work and all that jazz, so... Guess there's gonna be a Junimo Kart stream. I mean, it was it was bound to happen eventually. The only thing that could have thrown me off more is that that had been Factor's Factor's challenge instead. Oh my gosh! All right, you were a minute behind Zapora. That must have been that must have been something else. Have I ever beaten Junimo Kart? I have. Yeah, I've beaten it one time, so I'm probably gonna just knock it out of the park first try at the gate here. I beat it one time in the past. It only took me, like, probably, like, 30 attempts. Either way. Let's lock in this day, because I actually do need to... Because I, I crafted the solar panel, and I crafted the weathered floor. Let's go buy one more sandy shirt for the road. Why not? It's, it's late enough in the day. Also, brick floor. Must have been from a lightning strike, I guess. Brick floor jump scare. What's she got? She's got this, like, half and half blue shirt. Blue and white shirt. I'll take it. I only have ever seen this shirt in my entire life. Current goal, craft the solar panel, if only. Honestly, I'll take, I'll take Junimo card over craft the solar panel. Great music to end things on as well. And you know what? As one final send off before we move, end the stream off here, let's let's make things official. Let's offic officiate this. Like I'm a minister in Vegas. Where is it? Miscellaneous. Junimo cart. Boom. There's our goal. That will be our goal for next stream next week. But for now, this is going to have to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this brick floor back down, put away my shirt. Sounds weird out of context, but it's all good. There we go. Yo, this one also has the teeth. I never even realized. All right. Off to bed. Boom. Lock it in. All right. Well, that was a uh, that was a roller coaster, especially towards the end there. It was a roller coaster of emotions, and it went like it's like one of those roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon, where they just take the like they take the last piece of track off at the very end, so that the train just goes and crashes into a big fiery explosion <laughs> at the very end. But we will recover. Junimo Kart. It's not going to be that bad, honestly. It's just the absolute hilarity of it. But that's going to be it for me. I'm going to send you all off with the usual fan art compilation. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for being so amazing. Be good to one another and be good to yourselves. I will see you probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'll put out the stream schedule on Sunday as usual. And, uh, yeah. Until then, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye.